scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hosea 12. Just be sensitive to what I'm doing. I'm about to pray for you. Hosea chapter 12. It says, And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel. That prophet was his hand. He used the prophet like you use a fetcher to draw water. And by a fetcher, you drew water. You are the one who drew the water. But the fetcher carried the water. And by a fetcher, you drew water out of a well. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. The place of slavery. The place where you don't have rights. Are we together? It says again, and by the same prophet, the Lord didn't just bring them out of Egypt. He says, and by the same prophet, they were preserved. Do you know why? Because when you come out of Egypt, Egyptians will still pursue you. It's not enough to come out. There must be a system that preserves you. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And knowing that the Egyptians will still come seeking after them to make sure their testimonies only last one month two months and then they are taken again to slavery Pharaoh said what mistake did I make what happened to me that I let these people go and then the Bible says by the same prophet was he Israel preserved listen let me tell you this we are going to sit down a man of God went to meet Bishop Oyedeko. He was going to get into ministry. And he said, Daddy, sir, what advice would you give me as a young minister now that I'm going to ministry? And he thought Bishop Oyedeko would tell him, be prayerful, make sure you fast, make sure you teach the word in season. Bishop Oyedeko looked at him passionately like a father would look at a son and spoke to him in Yoruba and said never fight alone that's my advice never fight the first rule never fight alone david you are going to fight who is with you whose son are you from which family do you come from what covenant is assisting you he said told him never fight alone never fight alone let me tell you this do you know the reason why many people remain in the same situation for a long time they have done everything physical but there is no prophetic push in their lives they stay like that they labor foolishly they they are skilled i have seen gifted people i have seen job applicants i have seen all kinds of people this system this kingdom you see is a spiritual kingdom I, I pray that god will help you understand this fast enough that in this kingdom everything starts spiritually when you spiritualize your mentality you have you have set yourself in order for a life of victory nothing ever happens in this life just by the arm of flesh it's a waste of time the arm of flesh is only relevant when there is a backing satan never attacks until he vets that the power to this to defeat you is higher than the force backing you 
when satan comes to you he doesn't look at you he looks if there is any force back in you jesus i know paul i know who are you so many believers that you are in church that you are coming every week that you are a worker it doesn't justify that you have received this ministry i know what this thing has done in my life this truth you see and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's amazing how many people remain in difficulties when there is a route to cheap victory the kingdom of god operates systemically if you don't know how these things happen you can labor and labor and labor and labor and labor and create a theology out of your pain that this dimension is not possible and believe that any other person walking in that dimension must be cutting corners spiritually somewhere no it told Cain it says if you offer it paraphrasing according to pattern will it not be accepted the problem was never because you were king you refused to do it accordingly are we together I was hearing the testimonies of this these people here and I just sat down and in my mind I'm saying how many other people need the same thing but don't know how to receive it there are people who are not very wise there are people who are not very smart honestly there are people who are not very connected but among the many principles they've painfully adhered to is the foolishness of believing the prophetic word of the Lord and they have watched their lives enter dimension and there are many of us who have come with our philosophies and exaggeration of intellectualism we have stretched everything we know from border to border and all that is left in our lives today is shame shame that vetoes everything your studies whatever there is a way out brothers and sisters there is a more excellent way god brings us here because he loves us and because he wants to help us don't allow the patterns of failure to be too much in your life plenty of people have failed for you already why must you go through all of this again and by a prophet not by a man not by a preacher not by an orator not by a bible reader listen carefully not by one who oil was on his head like just pouring oil and by a prophet how you know he is a prophet is when you are truly delivered anybody can say go out the results justify the office the results justify the mantle because every office God institutes on earth there is a prototype of it in heaven are we together now so when you speak here on earth the same way that throne that system of governance allocated to your grace to validate that he truly called you in that dimension ministers to the people and there are angels that signify anointings listen carefully don't just be conscious of the presence of the holy spirit alone he's not the only spiritual force at work there are angels listen carefully that validate anointings there is a kind of anointing you carry and certain angels start following you there is a kind of mantle a mantle is not an anointing there is a kind of mantle you carry that certain angels come listen there is an office you occupy that necessitates the operation of certain not just angels angels are not the only beings that assist men in heaven there are many we only just know angels as we call them they are all messengers but they don't do the same thing the revelation of jesus which he gave unto his servant john he sent it and signified it by his angel not an angel his angel an angel connected to that dimension so you are calling to the healing ministry if it is true you are called there are a kind of angels that should walk so when the word of god because they confirm the word of his messengers when that word is released at the authorization of the spirit the holy spirit the holy spirit is the master governor of every spiritual operation 
so even when the bride speaks they watch on the spirit for permission when the spirit says let it be done let me tell you the same way the bible says the spirit came to resurrect jesus from the dead but we see the dynamics at the instance of the spirit an angel came rolled away the stone sat on it holy spirit you can come he rolled away the stone the holy spirit does not just walk maybe the way some of us think there are real angels so when you come for koinonia it's not just enough it's not only seats you have come to see the human beings you see are a very minute fraction of the hosts of heaven listen a church is not a church because of people a church is a church because there must be an access point from that church to the gates of heaven jacob the first mention of the word house of god genesis 28 jacob came it was a stone and a background no chairs no fasting no prayer no nothing and jacob got up he saw angels ascending that means if angels are not ascending and descending that is not the house of god he said this is the gate of heaven so a church is not a church just because there's a man standing and there are people sitting there must be an access point from that location to access heaven and to release realities to people are we together every challenge in your life is relative to the grace the mantle and the office that addresses it every challenge every challenge relative relative the same way you can meet a doctor and be rambling and say doctor sir something is wrong and he just laughs and just prescribes a b c and within days he has been trained to trivialize your challenge don't allow your situation make you believe that just because it is insurmountable to you it means it's so for everybody that's pride oh are you hearing what i'm saying that you have tried to access favor that you have tried to access dimensions in the spirit to see an unusual dimension of the gift of the spirit work in you that bankruptcy is not generic it's only personalized to you which is an expression of your limitation in understanding the ways of god are we together i want to pray for you you know it's not by kneeling down and all it's just by receiving we're going to get to the word but i just i just felt in my spirit the lord was impressing while i sat back there to just speak a word so that certain challenges you have done your best you are sincere i know that we are rising in faith god is helping us but the truth is that many of us at this level you have done everything to be done physically you need that prophetic push i know that i speak over your life all the time but remember i'm prophesying as i am commanded i can prophesy as i wish god will still honor it but when he commands then be ready for dry bones to become an army are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare father your word declares and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved father i stretch my hands let it be an extension of the hand that brings breakthrough that brings deliverance and i'm prophesying to someone who is in a pit right now that there is no human way you should come out in the name of jesus christ everywhere across this auditorium if there is anyone in an impossible situation i bring you out now in the name of jesus i send an anointing into that pit where you are and i declare that by a mystery in the name of jesus let the axe head that has sunk into the water i command that axe head to float now I command that axe head to float now. I decree and declare there are people here. The pace that you are moving in life will never allow you to serve God in truth. The pace is too slow to have time for God. And it's a strategy by the devil. Because provided he keeps your mind on tea and bread provided he keeps your mind on these things you will never have the time to focus on the things that matter in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of god came upon elijah 
and Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. In Jesus' name, I supply speed to your destiny. I command supernatural speed. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your destiny. Hallelujah. We are praying. Paul spoke and I said, once and again, I desire to come to you. He said, but Satan hindered us. But Satan, I desire to come to you. That's your breakthrough speaking. That's your lifting speaking. I have desire to come, but Satan hindered us. I have desire, just like you prayed since last year, you were calling me out. I desire to come, but Satan hindered us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, any dimension in the spirit or any allocation from the spirit that was designed by the ordinance of God to be captured in your destiny by now and by witchcraft or whatever manipulation you have not entered into it Shekatos Kabatiada I command the embargo that stands between you the embargo whether spiritual whether human in the name of Jesus I smash it out of your way now I smash it out of your way now I want to pray for you there are many of you your helpers are not even aware the devil has made sure that every door that will connect you to them has been closed every door nobody willing to help you you suffer alone you pray alone you fast alone you labor alone let me tell you this let me tell you this even if you have money it doesn't guarantee that you have favor favor is not all about money in fact money is, is less than one tenth of the mysteries of favor favor is the ability for men to rise up and come to your aid not just once but to remain so as a reality you can never enter your rest when you are doing everything alone who can rise up for you when adversity speaks who can rise up for you at the gates where you are not here no one advocating for your interest in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the grace and the anointing of the spirit i decree and declare i push you by prophecy into the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers i push you by prophecy receive of their ministry i prophesy favor over your life I prophesy favor over your life. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and then we'll sit down. I want to pray for your finances and then I'll round up with your spiritual life. Listen, let me tell you this. You will never access finances the way many of us are approaching it. That's not the way it works. Everything is first spiritual. It's not by doing business. It's not by getting a job. Doing business and getting a job is simply a system of collecting your spiritual allocation. The Bible says God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings, but they reside in heavenly places in Christ. You don't need it there. The word must be made manifest. It must be made flesh. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to pray for us. Listen, let me tell you. By the grace of God, we are a people that God has helped. And by the grace of God, we are a people who God has proven through this ministry that if God helps you financially, you can have the time to serve Him. This demonic distraction that comes by looking for what to eat, what to wear, that stops us from praying, that brings us into yokes that are uncalled for, because our daily breaths must be met that distracts us there is no time to serve god seven days a week all you are doing is looking for money 
you get up in the morning money to sleep in the night money the holy ghost is talking the thoughts of money chokes his voice let me pray for you the bible says the prophet said by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow i want to pray don't be foolish you have had the testimonies that happen money has a spirit that note you see is an obedient servant there is a spirit that controls resources it doesn't come just like that the spirit that the devil put in place to control financial resources is called mammon and you never never can access mammon without bowing to satan so if you want to get resources the world's way get ready to compromise your faith your life your integrity your everything for it but there is another system in the kingdom are we together now it says thou shall remember the lord thy god for it is he it is in his office to give you the ability the power to prosper um a lot of people have thought that the power to prosper is concepts ideas insights i believe that but that's just the physical dimension the power to prosper is an anointing there is an exact anointing whose assignment is to call forth resources the same way noah sat there and the animals started coming on their own that's the power to prosper it calls forth people it calls forth resources it calls forth opportunities you don't just use your mouth to call it when that grace is on you it's magnetic it is true has nothing to do with ministry has nothing to do with a job a job business and every financial vehicle only supplies the value chain for its sustainability but it's originated from the spirit are we together i want to pray over our finances if you don't need it that's all right no i i, I want to believe not everybody needs it but truly there are people here is do you know do you know let me tell you this is very very i believe that it bleeds the heart of god when we come for a meeting like this where the spirit of god wants to build our spirit wants to help us to know him and all that is in our mind is waiting for when money prophecy will come wait it's, it's a terrible thing you will never grow that way nobody grows spiritually talking about money all the time it's an issue that by the spirit of god you should access be done away with and then you can focus if you don't believe you can solve money issues to know this is solved and turn and face god then there's no point receiving this prayer there is i'm not saying you should not get your job i'm not saying you should not do your business i train i teach people to be valuable but let me tell you this it's a waste if you keep this fan and it's not collected to electricity the fan has potentials this mic although you don't see a wire there is still a technology that ultimately connects it to a generator that you cannot see it does not mean it's not there of the generator you will, I, I don't have to collect the mic from you i just disconnect it from the generator and let you keep switching off and on you are doing the right thing it should work but because it's not connected to something something that was supposed to work doesn't work again are you seeing now so you are doing what you are doing this is actually how to on the mic and off it you are correct but because the generator is disconnected from the mic you do the right thing it still doesn't work it is the life of God. It is that connection that activates whatever you do. When this anointing is on you, it doesn't really matter what you do. Whatsoever he doeth, whatsoever he doeth, prospers. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, you have helped me. I have seen your mercy and I have seen your grace. You have helped this ministry. We have seen your mercy. Father, I pray that the same mercy and the same grace, even in the area of finances, I cry unto you right now. Let that grace, let that unction come upon someone now. Let that unction come upon someone now let that unction come upon someone whose family has never believed they can rise 
Lord, may that grace be a supernatural bailout system for a family that is in need of your help right now. May this anointing come upon your life and roll away shame. In the name of Jesus, by this anointing I declare that whatever it is you are involved in, I don't care whether it has prospered or not, I command it, I instruct it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for your spiritual life. Listen, in all your growth, if you don't grow spiritually, you are not growing. You can have all the money in the world like I just prayed for you. Listen carefully. You can have all the human connections, but if you lose sync with what God is doing and you lose touch with spiritual realities, then you will not last. The value for every aspect of your life is that although these things are there, your spirit is still alive unto God. You are growing in an ever-increasing dimension, understanding not just what God wrote in the Bible, but his program for the nations for now. If you lose touch with this present truth, God's system of relevance, then no matter what else you have, you are irrelevant. You will watch yourself being edged out of the move of God. Therefore, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every distraction over your spirit, man, I curse it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare whatever has blocked the portals of the spirit from granting you access to the deep and the current speakings of the spirit, the deep and the current speakings, the deep and the current speakings, revelatory dimensions that communicate this present truth. I command those portals to be open now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever has closed and frustrated your appetite for prayer, the ability to not just shouting up and down, staying with God, staying until your spirit man is energized, I declare that tonight, may you be brought to a new dimension of prayer fire. Whatever has made you comfortable with where you are spiritually, that you don't even see the need to press again. In the name of Jesus, may tonight's teaching plant a strange hunger in your spirit. Every door spiritually that you are walking in that my God did not open, I don't care what dimension you are facing. If his word was opened by Satan to distract you, I shut that door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Please be seated. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome everyone tonight in the name of Jesus. It's my joy to bring us the word every time. The Bible declares that we should be instant in season. Praise the Lord. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. I'll be teaching on something along the lines of First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Helping us to understand certain realities as far as kingdom legislation is concerned. One of my greatest uh, prayer for us is that we are trained and equipped not just to see miracles. This is a ministry that God has blessed with grace for miracles, signs and wonders. But I am passionate about inculcating and transferring spiritual understanding in believers. You can know the efficiency of a man of God by the quality of the useful spiritual information. Listen carefully. Not just random spiritual information. The quality of the useful spiritual information that is transferred to the average member. Not the ministers, not the leaders. Their, 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 their level of spiritual excellence can be for obvious reasons. 
but that when you when you hand pick anyone at random and discuss with the person over basic spiritual truths foundational doctrines in the kingdom and then especially doctrines that relate to our reigning and our victory you should be able to have an intelligent conversation with such a person that is proof that the man of god and that ministry is careful enough i am passionate about teaching the word of god are we together now because it is in the teaching of the word of god that understanding comes and when understanding comes then the grace the fortitude to release your faith through obedience is released upon you so please i want you to pay attention especially for many of us who just come i know some of us have problems and challenges but don't forget don't forget that koinonia primarily is a place of encounter and is a place of growth spiritual growth much more than a place of receiving the miraculous much more than a place of signs and wonders this place will always remain the place of signs and wonders but much more than that this is bethel the place of bread where the hallowed bread of the spirit is open and you receive but much more than receiving that there is an impartation so when you come while you are sitting you see that there is an anointing working in you as the word of god is taught there is an anointing you are not only hearing are we together now you are not if all you are doing is hearing then this is a lecture maybe spiritual in context but it's a lecture what makes it the ministration of the spirit is the presence of the anointing the bible calls us able ministers and it says that we are ministers after the spirit no matter how articulate and how deeply spiritual i am if this anointing this presence factor is not there then it's a total waste of time are we together so i'm saying this so that we must be passionate about growth young and old we come from different spiritual backgrounds and uh, we aspire for a similar spiritual destiny but in the interim our hearts must be open to educate our mind spiritually it's terrible to be ignorant as a spiritual person you don't need to know everything but there are foundational doctrines of the kingdom that you have to know everyone personally not just to have a tape that talks about it not just to have a book that talks about it not just to attend a ministry or to submit to a man or an anointing that knows it it is a revelation that must be inculcated as part of your understanding are you getting blessed now it's very very important your edge in life much more than the coming of the anointing is the awareness and the understanding of the systems of the kingdom how it works when you call someone a master why is he a master every time i want to access my internet banking platform um gtb is one of my banks and i see them marketing something about a food expo that will be done and i see master chefs five or six of them who will be holding master classes all of them are called master chefs i had the opportunity to watch two of those people and i saw the way they demystified cooking they showed that cooking is scientific you can you can predict what will become in a notable level of accuracy that's called a master a master is a master at foundations when you say you are a master that means the foundations of a system are things that you have at your fingertips you're a master driver there is nothing another driver does not necessarily know it's just that you are a master at that foundation you can turn a car sideways and still be driving it now that's mastery the same tools that someone uses is what you use but with a level of competence that produces a result everything you will need for victory is accessible to everyone but how we engage it is where the difference is. so i not only want us to be sound in the word to be able to quote scriptures blood of jesus fire of the holy ghost there are very ignorant things that believers do that is a pain to the heart of the father 
we should be able to grow spiritually in understanding to be able to know what to do what to engage how to live in this kingdom you see the goal of this teaching you're coming every week is not just to prove that a man is called of god there is a system of spiritual mentorship are we together your life should become something exact with time you should begin to have an appreciation of the ways of god that a time can come you are well equipped to be able to serve the purposes of the kingdom without fear because you know what should happen and if and when what you want is not what happens there is a system you are aware of that can compel things to come to the obedience of christ if you're with me say amen, amen. first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 here's what it says but ye are a chosen generation now this is a very interesting word because there were many generations many generations in fact many dispensations the word generation there does not necessarily mean just an age range you know physically we have a bio our, our biological and physical definition of a generation a particular age range for some 0 to 15 some 0 to 30 make up a generation that's not what god is talking about here he's the word generation there's a word race race of people within a particular context of civilization he said that there you are a chosen generation what does that mean there are other dispensations other races of people but your race your spiritual generation has been particularly chosen so you are a chosen generation and this is where i want us to dwell you are a royal priesthood it would have been all right to say you are a priesthood you are priests but it says you are also royalty you are a royal priesthood then it says an holy nation a peculiar people that ye should with all these things the being chosen the priesthood the royalty the peculiarity all of that is to enable you show forth the praises praises the word doxazo the flaunting of a man's glory making his glory known show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light he called you into his light hold on let me help you understand this what makes you chosen what makes you royal what makes you a priesthood what makes you peculiar is the marvelous light you entered are you getting the whole thing now all of that happened because you entered his he called you into his marvelous light whoever enters that marvelous light is fortunate is blessed the bible tells us that some of these prophets saw these things they sought to walk in these dimensions they kept searching for what manner of times the spirit had revealed they knew that there would come a dispensation of men and women who will be granted archives to these things in fact some of these prophets prophesied it but they were not given insight to understand what they prophesied they just spoke it and left it there but the bible says you are fortunate in that you can not just enter his light but his marvelous light the light access to his mysteries he called you out of ignorance darkness the same expression that is used in genesis chapter one darkness void is the hebrew word tohu abohu darkness ignorance um confusion lack of light lack of hope depression the same expression he called you out of darkness notice he didn't say he called you out of sin notice he didn't say he called you out of witchcraft notice he didn't say he called you out of the devil the major reason why satan sin the devil whatever it is oppressed people was the presence of darkness are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not like satan was so powerful they are called rulers of darkness every time there is darkness their dominion kicks in and he called you so how does god make people peculiar by introducing them to his marvelous light the bible says god who had commanded the light to shine out of darkness 
it says he had shined in our heart to reveal to us the glory of jesus the, the the glory of the knowledge of god as seen on the face of jesus christ the marvelous light that means listen carefully that means although prophetically you belong to a race that the bible calls a peculiar people and a royal priesthood if you do not accept that that marvelous light is not any light that marvelous light is a spiritual allocation of knowledge that has been given to a dispensation this marvelous light is exact it's not just that god brought you into any light no the light of god is in levels there are certain lights he made to signify seasons to signify times not just the stars in the sky spiritually you would read in the bible every time prophets would interact with god sometimes he would tell them seal it you have seen this but just close it and keep it in other words it's not for this race of people how david tried david wanted to access the realities of the messiah david wanted to see redemption he pressed for it pressed for it he saw glimpses of it but could not put it together isaiah saw the virgin birth isaiah saw god becoming man they all saw pieces of it but nobody because there is a an allocation of spiritual knowledge there is a body of knowledge that is given to a dispensation of people and our generation is very fortunate we are not only fortunate because we are spiritual people we are, we are not fortunate because we are better than smith wigglesworth listen carefully we are not fortunate because we are better than all these saints the puritans and the rest we are fortunate because god by his election of grace not that we ask for it by his predeterminate counsel has chosen to bring us into a, a body of knowledge a body of knowledge that can separate us in experience even those who saw these verses only read about it many of them never walked in the experience let me tell you this there are things written in the bible that are not for everybody there are things written in the bible that sometimes are for an individual sometimes are for a race and those individuals not everything written in the bible was for people of old there are things written in our generation there are things written about you one day you will carry your bible and know this is me the bible says in luke chapter 4 the bible says jesus stood up for to read and it was given to him the messianic prophecy remember isaiah wrote this hundreds of years before jesus and jesus was not the first person to read it I, they were talking about a man but who was that man every prophet who had access tried they would check against the reigning prophet and say no this does not fit john the baptist uh -uh, it almost fits but it can't be john and all of a sudden jesus comes and opens up the prophecy of Isaiah and begins to read the spirit of the lord is upon me anybody can appreciate it prophetically but there is an exact person it was written for are we together now look up i'm teaching you something if you read the bible as a book that spoke to someone but just applicable to you you are lying there are things written in the bible that have not been fulfilled by anybody outside our race a day will come you will look at it and know that this word was for our generation are you are you getting what i'm saying give me hebrews chapter 11 the last verse let me show you one of those things and then we'll come back to this hebrews chapter 11. read let's go let's start from verse 37 and then we'll go to 40. give us from verse 37. they were stoned they were sown asunder were tempted slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskins goatskins be destitute afflicted tormented 38 of whom the world was not worthy they wandered in deserts talking about um the archives of faith the patriarchs of faith 39 he said all these who are the these all the guys that were part of those who were recorded i hope you know they never had the opportunity to read the bible because we are now reading about them so by the time we were writing about them there was just the um, some of the psalms and the torah and all of that the bible says they received not the promise there was still an expectation in the heart of god and they all did not receive it 40 
he said god having provided what some better things for us who are the us the readers not the actors if you never got to read this you were not in that generation it is for those who will read this he says so that they without us as general as they were without us there is there are things written here that no generation has found it will take men of audacity many of us believe that everything that was written in the bible has happened is just a prophetic application no no one day you will open something and see koinonia right there not as a word you will see a chapter of the bible talking about exactly what is happening now many of you will never if i told you that isaiah prophesied about you pastor alpha as a person you may say yes prophetically until the spirit when you are called into this marvelous light listen he never said called into light because god made many lights and every generation partook of a dimension of light but there is a marvelous light the same way he made two great lights all the prophets had dimensions of god and based on what they knew that was all about god in their generation until another prophet came and another generation came with another dimension of god and the bible says here that so that they without us meaning there is something about koinonia that must be added to the bible in heaven then when you now read the saints plus the archives of koinonia it produces perfection Let me just allow you to settle down and then we'll take it again. Listen. I hope you know there is a book in heaven where things are recorded. I hope you know that when Paul was having his little teaching and Peter, the plan was not for that to be captured in the Bible. They were living. Is that true? Imagine, imagine in your mind, 300 years from now, let's assume that Christ chooses to tarry none of us here i believe should be alive there's no reason why i should be on earth then i will be alive but not on earth are we together now now imagine that a young boy of 13 years or 15 years then is now reading that ah, ah, in 2018 there was a service that service was held by somebody there was a worshiper called sam he's reading a story we are not reading it because we're the actors but the bible says even those who are the readers there is a part for them in prophecy here to fulfill so that when you now combine both the actors and our generation it will create that perfection there is still a desire in the heart of god in spite of what paul has done in spite of what all of them have done there is still a desire in the heart of god that there is a light there is a body of the revelation of god allocated for a generation none of their generation taught people to live in balance one of the problems with every other generation until our own is that there was a traceable imbalance are we together if they were prophets they had problems even during god's generals most of them found god but there was a level of light that was not given imbalance here and there so jesus found where it was written about him about him literally not about somebody that he applied to his life he was the one they were talking about i pray for you huh? that one day you will open the bible and see something and god will tell you son i know you may not believe it but this verse was not written to a prophet that you should receive by faith this one when i said a man i will raise in the eyes of prophecy anybody can apply it by faith but that man was you that the, the bible centrally talks about christ but there are auxiliary revelations about individuals the central message of the scripture is christ but it's not only christ christ is the major doctrine perfect theology the entire focus of the bible is christ but not christ alone his bride 
he found where it was written about him that a time will come a generation will prosper and that i am sending you and you will think he was talking of joseph until one day you read and god will tell you it is this generation and you are that person listen notice every time god speaks about people he never calls their name everybody has a spiritual name there is a name in the realm of the spirit that men are identified with listen did you ever see the word jesus he said a virgin shall conceive let me tell you how prophecy works and give birth to a son and you shall call that son did you ever hear them call jesus emmanuel please talk to me but did the prophet lie is god's system so you will not find a jimmy but you will find a spiritual name that you know this is me it was written it will be difficult for you to receive because you say out of the six point how many billion people no read the bible the captains of industry today were written bill gates is in the bible all these guys they were in the bible it's not just that they were in the bible the prophet saw them you will not find bill but you will find him there this koinonia you see this meeting you see is in your bible here that you have read bible cover to cover God. i'm not talking of something that okay god sent jeremiah oh god like you sent jeremiah you sent me it's not true you see now the surprise i've not even gotten to my message tonight the surprising part is that demons know they are not in ignorance why do you think spirits pursue certain individuals no they of course satan hates everybody but there are certain individuals he will mark them kill for them do everything around them because you may not know that there is something written that there is a part you have to play imagine when i was born I'm sure my mother would just believe that she, she gave birth to whatever it is. You know, I didn't take breast milk. God punished the devil. The, the devil wanted to kill me from birth. I was fed on lactogy because he wanted to destroy me. My mother just felt she was carrying a baby. But if only she opened and saw that a woman will conceive. This is not Mary. Not Mary. That a prophet one day was scanning to a generation and saw they saw the generation of the baptism of the holy ghost with stammering lips and another tongue will they praise they left it as a code every prophecy about you in the bible is a code it must be opened let me tell you what happens i don't know why do you know holy spirit well you are you are the lord of this teaching tonight i don't know what is taking me to this dimension but let me three, tell you three things that happens when the code of your destiny is open from scripture one god changes your name listen let me tell you the concept of the change of name sometimes it can be physical but more than that notice there was nobody whose prophetic word opened and a name was not given to him now read your bible cephas saul paul abraham abraham sarai sarah read your bible you see there thou art peter it didn't say your name is peter peter you have found it you have found it they have been calling you selfers but something open your you are peter found it you found it I, you know sometimes when i share these things in my spirit i just i want to be as simple as possible one of my goals as a man of god is not to bamboozle you with complication my goal is to communicate understanding because there are all kinds of people but sometimes you see it's very difficult very difficult to teach these things because you may never know if god appears to you now he will not call you by your father's name he will call you by your name in the spirit
you will hear it this is what i'm trying to tell you you will never hear god say a genie no 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 a name is a code when you use an atm there are people who use machines let me tell you if this thing does not happen to you there are dimensions of prophecy about your life that will never happen that's why people erroneously just go and carry a name after baptism oh your name is what's your name tosin it just oh my name is is victory too and you know wonderful but you just call your name a carnal name you were strolling to the swimming pool and they said make sure you have a name what name do we put there just say john or james and you find out no there was a man sent from god but the name was given i'm sure that the father would have called him something but the angel said no 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 something had been concluded from heaven the name that opens this man's destiny is called john he said no 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 he shut his mouth until he revealed to the wife so when you see certain things you will just see that god says a woman shall arise in a generation and she shall be called a helper you may not know what it means you will start thinking it's not it may be you but you never know you are the one until the season comes when you enter this marvelous light the body of knowledge allocated for whoever should walk in it then you'll find out that you will open it and all of a sudden grace 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 just opens you up the name joshua was not given to me by my father the name joshua was given to me by god my biological father and mother did not call me joshua our ignorance in the spirit has costed us a lot of things you shall call him emmanuel jesus comes i thought somebody would say ah oh god make sure make sure you don't miss out your name is emmanuel no when the angel now comes that emmanuel was a code the same angel said you shall call him jesus when the the man blind Bartimaeus, when he saw him he cried thou son of david is the son of david jesus what who is the son of david son of david is solomon so was the man not calling solomon solomon help me he say no that was a wise man the son of david is solomon why didn't jesus say you are lying solomon has gone to be with the lord no thou son of david the one who sits on the throne spiritually are we are you hearing what i'm saying so there are things written in this bible i searched the bible to find out the program of god but i searched the bible too looking lord you it can't just be koinonia this is not just zaria there is something prophetic show me where is it where is it it's not just about this show me many of you just sit down and find a nice scripture you shall build houses you shall repair the former desolations amen of course prophetically is applied to you but let me tell you there is something with your name on it that you can get up and know that this is my meat to do and finish what was written i don't know if it's so for everybody but there are people one of the things that happens to men when they truly encounter god is that something happens to their name what is your name not what do you want jacob the problem with you has to do with your name what is your name have you been given a name from the spirit and he said no my name is jacob see i don't care whether his name was his name was goodness the name would still have been changed it's not because he's a cheat and a supplanter no selman means the way to love is that not a nice name who would not want to give a child a nice name like that god said what are you talking about let's talk about destiny destiny you carry the name you carry the office you carry the crown you carry the scepter
man of God that has ever prophesied to me that didn't know my name never called me my biological name never not once I remember one time I met a dear man of God he's now a dear friend somewhere and he was speaking and he looked at me. in fact not even I remember a time I think we we're going to was it been a republic I, I, I think I can't remember now been a republic for a program and we were there you know all these guys that use divination that can stand in the market and start prophesying to you remember they were trying to clear our, uh, our passport at, at customs and all of that and then I stood close and he looked at me and said Joshua he said you see this guy he has seen something in the spirit read your Bible Jesus was the man because there was no power in that name no there was no power in that name j-e-s-u-s no 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 you call him jesus say, how are you there's food for you so you will be surprised that many of you have been having dreams and in those dreams certain names are called you by spiritual forces they call you names and you think maybe they are talking about bible actors somewhere why are you go is it that you don't know my name i will never forget one time i was having a dream very prophetic dream um i think i wrote it i can't remember i can't i can't even pronounce it well it was a name that was called and it was an angel of the lord who was calling god a name i checked the bible i didn't find that name anywhere but it was a name like tongues a long name <laughs> what is this i wrote i thought it was greek I'm, uh, let me tell you i studied the bible very very well i'm not a lazy person i checked it checked lexicon check everything i just saw some nonsense started coming out part rubbish some of these zodiac things i said no 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 i checked it very well i said but what is this name very long name that was called if someone introduces that name now that person is going to be in trouble what name which one he is called what what name no but the bible says there is a marvelous light allocated for a generation we thank god for what they did the goal of studying the bible is not just to stop there the goal of studying the bible is to understand god's character and by his spirit continue continue what we are living now is being recorded in heaven it will be read and there are people who will learn from it it's not just because there is no spiritual archaeology right no 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 in the heavens one day you will read there are gifts of the spirit you see operate here you may not find them exactly you can just relate them with one that is close to them i told you the gifts of the spirit are not nine they are as unlimited as the spirit himself theologically and for the purpose of of spiritual administration we focus there but there are not nine gifts of the spirit there are dimensions that the evil in this day requires the evil in the then day did not require some of these dimensions so they were sealed and left for our generation are we together the level of deception in our generation is too high there are other gifts that must be opened people go for war and they hide different sets of weapons based on the attack there are times that when the aggression gets bad they now they're all nations of the world have certain weapons that no other nation has seen every some are hiding it in the sea some are hiding it somewhere when the going gets tough then they will bring out those arsenals that's how it is spiritually why am i saying this to us listen carefully you will find yourself walking in very deep spiritual dimensions that if you are not guided you may think it is occult or it is witchcraft 
and you will throw away the dealings of the spirit just because it is strange now you must be guided don't get me wrong don't dabble into all kinds of spiritual things and destroy yourself but many people have just camped around the stories of the past wonderful but brothers and sisters there is what god is doing and the bible says that we are a chosen generation we are a royal priesthood a holy nation hold on who was saying this who was saying this huh do you know who was saying this 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 was peter the apostle saying but ye who was he talking to that means he was not there but you read it now did you learn it didn't say but we but you the people i'm talking to you are a chosen generation i'm not in your generation revelations let's go to the bible let's go to the bible revelation chapter 5 revelation chapter 5 please sit down revelation chapter 5 is god helping us tonight see sometimes god just disorganizes me like this revelation chapter 5 let me show you something <laughs> let's read from verse 8 from verse 8 to 10 now look at this and when he had taken the book the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb so the four living creatures 24 elders are we together the bible says they fell down before who the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors which are the prayers of the saints verse 9 and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open his seals for thou was slain and had redeemed the word us there is an error the 24 elders and the four living creatures are not part of the redeemed the word there is redeem them unto god by thy blood out of every kindred talking about inhabitants on the earth out of every tongue and people and nation verse 10 and has made them not us you see the mistake again in translation and has made them unto our god kings and priests and they shall reign the 24 elders don't reign on earth come on now talk to me the four living creatures don't reign on earth they are in the throne room they minister to god translators messed up some of these things and if you don't read by the spirit you will just gather all kinds of things the bible says we have been made unto our god kings and priests and the domain of our legislation is on earth that we shall reign on earth now watch this imagine imagine with me that one of the 24 elders was reading this thing of course you would know it's not them it can't be talking about them and they'll be wondering what generation because they themselves don't know everything nobody in heaven knows everything except god they see in part too and so they'll be wondering ah, which generation is this going to be fulfilled in and all of a sudden a generation comes brothers and sisters listen let me tell you there are things that will happen in our generation that have not happened before they will not be error because they have been written it is whatever was not prophesied and is done that is error you see that that it has not been done doesn't mean it has not been said there are things that will happen the coming of jesus has not happened everyone who wrote it has gone to be with the lord and yet it has not happened but we know and nobody will argue that it will happen because it has been prophesied so also like the coming of jesus there are many other things that have been written but they were written in coded forms you have to be brought in permit me to use the word like occult you must be ushered in like the freemason call or the illuminati they can call you and say look we want you to become part of this brotherhood to give you access to certain things god has said i have kept this dimension for a generation that means no matter how many times abraham fasted he never would have entered certain things we are not entering it today just because we fasted more or we prayed more there's a place for spiritual discipline but that our generation has been chosen say chosen 
That's the word. Chosen. Chosen. It's an election of grace that God decided by his predetermined counsel that in a dispensation there will be a people who will be opened other doors and they will see these lights and have access to a dimension of God and reveal to a generation. This is what makes us royal priesthoods. Peculiar people. A holy nation called out the same way God called Israel out and showed Israel something no other hedonistic nation could see. It was that light. It is being called into light that shows that you are peculiar. Are we together now? We have been called. We have been called. I tell myself I am so privileged to see and to know the things that I know. Sometimes I read the Bible and I'm not reading a storybook. In all honesty and without any sense of pride, I read and I say, but if I were not Apostle Joshua Selman, I would still say this guy, whoever they were talking about here, this guy must be Joshua Selman. Now some ignorant fellow will now come and start saying that this guy is claiming he's the Messiah. No, that, that's not what we're talking about. It is finding the scripture about your destiny that opens you up. You see, when you see a man walking in some results of result, there are forces, some dimensions of result. There are spiritual forces that back up this operation. They don't just happen just like that. You check your Bible, you will find Reinhard Bonke there. You check your Bible, you will find Benny Hinn there. You check your Bible, you will find Bin Laden there. You check your Bible, you will find ISIS there. They are all coded. The people who did this thing found it. They found it. By divination, some of them were called into the inner courts of the spirit and were told, this is your destiny. You will be an agent of destruction. And he said, really? There are some presidents and governors now that have been ushered by extraterrestrial beings into the archives of the spirit. See your destiny. This is what you will carry. And from birth, they move them like that. Why do you think some of these royal families take time to choose a wife and a husband? You come and say you like them. They say, go away. They go and bring out old books and check and call some people and say, no, the wife should come from so, so, so family. It was prophesied already that whoever will marry prince this or prince that must be from this family they now start finding where that lineage went to and now check and say ah you are from this family do you have a daughter yes where is she and the naive girl is sitting they say congratulations I say what I say just come she thinks she's going no she's something was written about her listen to what i'm teaching you what i'm teaching you is a very deep mystery in the spirit but it's true are we together lo i come as it is written of me in the volume volume one volume two volume three to do thy will it is written of me joshua selman all great things have i spoken of you O zion something is written something you have been reading what is written about others and applying it by faith prophetically yes but there must be something you will find written about you that a jimmy for this purpose i brought you for this time for this and that and that day you stand and you are no longer reading the bible you are reading you so it is true that i will be a deliverer so it is true that one day this will happen jesus read that he was going to die so when he saw death, he did not run away. It was part of his assignment. He knew. God will be so dull to allow major events happen on earth without capturing them here. No. No. A man causing global harvest for the kingdom, Reinhard Bonke, and you believe that all he's doing was just an application of what Paul did? No, sir. No, sir. Let's have spiritual intelligence. Let me tell you this. Some of you, your being in Zaria now has nothing to do with your wish. It's prophecy. 
it was prophesied since whether you are aware or not is not the issue this gentleman came from Accra Ghana he's been around until one day you will check the archives of prophecy whether written in the Bible or revealed by the Spirit and you will see that God said at this time so 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 person would be here because after such and such a time he will encounter an anointing and he will start something so for that to happen God made sure no other university gave you admission you applied them um, if you applied everywhere but if if they gave you admission there it would jeopardize prophecy so you had to pay the price of five years so that you would be there you see that i would be the last person to believe i should be in zaria by this time what will i be doing here for god's sake but prophecy zaria me doing what Haba. prophecy one day you will meet one old woman in zaria somewhere who used to love god in the 80s she will say my son come let me show you something god told me when i was 22 behold a young man will arise from this soil you will see that's what she will tell you and say god revealed to me that a time will come a move of god will start in zaria i'm now 81 when i was 17 i said lord when will it happen and then all of a sudden a young boy is moving around and the hand of god is trailing him there are many of you seated here do you know why your life is unusual because this thing a verse in scripture has been looking for you and it will never stop until you are found a verse in scripture this bible you see is a gateway it's a portal it's not a magic book it's not just about cramming scripture there's something that has been written about you mighty in this world Mighty in this world, mighty in this world, you are mighty in this world, mighty in this world, mighty in this world, you are mighty in this world, you are mighty in this world. generation perish because you will obstruct prophecy just one carelessness leaving a region when you should not leave alone will destroy your life listen listen to me we are talking prophecy here let me suspend my teaching for tonight for next week but let's just flow with what the spirit is doing listen to me you see a spiritual man is not an ordinary man a spiritual man is governed by many factors the spirit but also governed by the truth everything on earth is like a football playing everybody there is something if a genie does not do a whole generation will perish if god is merciful then god will raise a replacement but that replacement must arise otherwise some things will not be done 
there is something if Pastor Alpha does not do in Kogi State, that state like this as a territory may never enter certain dimensions. It's not just about looking for ministry, it's prophecy that you have found it. This is my contribution to the coming of Christ. This is what the prophet, when Isaiah was seeing many things, I was part of what he saw. This is it. This is it. Let me tell you this. Hold on. There are some of you ladies, your assignment on earth is to give birth. That's it. Not to preach. Your assignment is your womb. This womb you are seeing. Your assignment. There is somebody that has been prophesied that must come out through your womb. If it's another womb, something will be wrong. It must be your womb. Mighty on your Mighty on your throne Mighty on my life Mighty on my life Mighty on my life Mighty on my life Listen, I want you listen carefully. I know that it's true that we say no man is indispensable. It is true. But let me tell you this. There are men who they are not aligning can cost a generation 30 extra years. Just one person. God will find another replacement, but it will never be the way it would have been. If I didn't answer the call of God upon my life, God's purposes will still be moved. But there are people born again today who would never meet Christ. Their children will never find God. There is a dimension just like you. There is something. You are not just coming for... Let me tell you this. If you ever find yourself in Koinonia that you came alone, you will need to see the spiritual forces you fought. This place is a place of birthing. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's like a place of spiritual registration. You are answering present. They have been calling you. Where are you? John. John. And the Spirit of God says come. And you come and say present. I'm here. I'm here. Where did you come from? Acquire bomb. Now come. There is an allocation for you. It may not look like it now. But let me tell you brothers and sisters. It may not look like it. But believe me. Believe me. There is a place written for you. My dear sister. Don't let marriage issue kill you. There is something here. That's why God is meticulous about you. A guy will come. God is saying yes to everybody. And God will tell the guy, get out of this place. And it's not like he hates him. There is prophecy. That womb is not your own. No. It's for a generation. Mighty on your throne. Listen, I want you to go back and trace the story of how you came to Zaria and trace the story of how you got Koinonia message. It's a miracle. It has to be an angel. No, no, no. It's in, it's in, it has to be spiritual. When you find out, that's when you see that. So this is what was happening. So I am this important. Brothers and sisters, hear me. What happened? was that there was a blast from heaven and all those who must be relevant in God's program not only through Koinonia wherever you are if that trumpet sounds I tell you you must come Where it's not whether you want to you can be doing your thing and God said let's go let's go quickly and let me build you sometimes you see listen God acts as if he doesn't pity you no He's looking at the generation that are dependent on your obedience. And he said, not even your tears will make me stop. Because a woman's destiny is tied to your revealing this dimension of God. Listen. Listen. 
let me find somewhere and i just feel let's pray first peter 2 and verse 5 i was actually going to talk about kings and priests the concept of royal priesthood we'll, we'll take that next week but let me just take just one of the aspects first peter chapter 2 and verse 5 one of the primary roles of priesthood the bible says is to offer it say ye also as lively stones listen carefully are being built up into what a spiritual house the house of god the gates of heaven a connection to the heavens you are being built you are what a holy priesthood what is your assignment to offer up spiritual sacrifices listen spiritual sacrifices are many things the constraints that you must go through so that god will be birthed in a generation is a spiritual sacrifice it takes only priesthood to make that happen when i push you people to pray to fast you are being built there is there is a sacrifice like a woman is about to give birth and you say madam eat well be strong because you will need to push the bible says as priests our assignment among others is there is a spiritual sacrifice there is a dimension of god it will take a heavy sacrifice to reveal you must be built built up into that house it says to offer up some of you that sacrifice is your body to offer it up some of you that sacrifice is your worship some of you that sacrifice is your ambition some of you that sacrifice is your destiny some of you that sacrifice is your certificate that you labored went to school you want to get a job and god says no you will need to lay down that certificate you must be built otherwise your sacrifice cannot be acceptable to offer up you are lively stones you are part of a building hear me koinonia you are part of a building you may be a first timer that just strolled and say wow god see these guys you are using god is saying that you were here you are also part of those stones we have been looking for you where were you we are supposed to be putting lintel now but by now you should have entered a dimension and you are just getting born again anyway hurry up hurry up because there is a space for you in that building you have delayed the building because you refuse to get born again fast when god is saying let me use you the devil is there wasting your time and now you see that there is a space for you how dare you look down on god's people and think it's just only one guy called of god no sir no sir you may not look like it now every one of these people you see you think that they are serving joshua selman they are lively stones there is a part in this building i know we say it prophetically all of us are contributors we don't know what we are saying it is true there is something if Ejimi does not release to this generation god will appear and say Ejimi, why look at he will show you a vision of the woman dying he will show you a vision of another family and said all this were tied to your obedience there are some of you ladies here you don't want to marry but god will look at you and say you must marry say lord i don't want he said then you are selfish because there is a child from your womb who will anoint a child from another woman's womb who will be the one to take over the children and that other child has been born but your own womb is not just about having children listen listen you see why some people are barren this is what satan is stopping barrenness is not just a, a demon no satan has already seen the program from here okay sam's child will give birth to this oh sam's child and pastor As alpha's child so they are the ones who will preach in that crusade okay stop pastor alpha from having a child so that the program satan does not stop everybody he's selecting he's not stupid he's looking at people who will make a major stoppage So some of you can just sit down and find out that you got born again and when others get born again they are happy miracle alert but you got born again and for one year is warfare satan is saying this is a big blow to the kingdom why did promise get born again 
by now you would have remained somewhere ha, what do we do to promise now okay let's make sure his wife is not born again or let's make sure she's barren I told God something I said Lord everything I represent to my generation everything that was written about me there are many other people but there is a role and I will play that role in life and death some of you here listen to me this thing tonight is a call by the Spirit God is saying look son daughter because of you something is not happening there are songs that you guys are supposed to bring you have been doing music training wonderful but sit down and say lord what are the songs for this generation what are the songs speak to me not just to teach people how to play keyboard and guitar sit down what are the songs what are the songs miriam wrote a song i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously miriam wrote it today we sing it as a song of victory we must write something that our children will read look at these little children there is a heritage we must leave for them that heritage is called a spiritual sacrifice you will pray where you don't need to pray you will fast when you shouldn't it will pain you but every time you want to give up you will remember something was written about me if Anna the prophetess did not pray Jesus would not come home her assignment how can a woman's assignment be to pray and fast for, for 60 years? I was born. Madam, what is your assignment? To pray for who? There's a young boy I always see in a vision. And God said, I called you to pray in the temple till he comes. Mary, what is your assignment on earth? A ghost told me I would give birth to a son. Is that all? How about my, madam, you are a smart lady. But that's what he told me. If Mary gave birth to any other child aside from Jesus, she would still not be featured in the program of God. Listen to me. In this season, not everything is important to God. You have to find out this present truth. What is God saying about my life? Why am I like this? Why the attacks? At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. All these sacrifices. But at the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. For there is power in your name. That is above all things, miracle. As we lift our voice, it's you that I see. Listen, I think we should pray. Listen. I'm going to give you the next 10 minutes huh? we are going to pray and the prayer listen to me the prayer is Lord yes to your will listen many of us think the call is a call to be a, a preacher or a preacher's wife that's foolish thinking the call is God is saying is a relay you have been delaying people people are standing Lord yes to it yes to it lift your mouth open your mouth blast in tongues and say lord yes 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 to the prophecy that was written about me yes yes as a kingdom financier yes yes as an apostle of the lamb yes yes as a prophet to the nation Yes, as a mother in Israel. Everybody pray. Lo, I come. In the volume of the book. It is written of me. It is written of me, Joshua Selman. It is written of you. Let 
My parents may not have known it. My siblings may not have known it. But there is prophecy upon my life relevant to the move of God within a generation appointed to be a partaker of the marvelous life. Chosen. Chosen. Literally. Chosen and picked by the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. When you find what was written about you, you see, let me say this. Look at me. Many of us here, you are going to find out things that were written about you that may not be major. Like Paul was teaching about, um, I, I think it was in 1 Corinthians 12. He was talking about 14, 12, 13, 14. He was talking about the members of the body. Let me balance something here. Some of you are going to discover that the role you have to play in the kingdom may not be as vocal as being the president of a ministry or heading a ministry and you will allow flesh listen please listen everyone listen you will allow flesh intimidate you to mean just because god has called joshua selman to head a ministry let me tell you this i want to show you a secret i'm already i'm already touching my teachings of some months i have a teaching that i'm going to bring here called the mystery of the veil it's a revelation god showed me the veil do you know why the bride in ancient times used the veil because everything glorious is covered the more a thing is in hiding the more the glory that's why the father hides in light listen there is a relationship between glory and the veil are you seeing that now so the parts of your body that we cannot see are the parts that make what we can see work so if you find out that as part of the body you are occupying a position that is not visible it's not a thing to cry it means you carry a higher weight of glory listen yes when please help help when 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 rebecca was brought to be a wife to isaac listen this is a bride on her way going the moment she saw isaac she failed herself i'm a woman of glory she failed herself so your heart you may never see it but let your heart stop working and all your hands do you know all the parts that take people to the hospital are parts they cannot see you just see that the hand is no longer working the leg is not working you go and meet a doctor and say doctor what is wrong they say ah this guy has diabetes just because of something going on inside when you are sick even if they rub something on your hand it's just it is the one you swallow that goes in that you cannot see is the one responsible for your vitality listen i just felt like ministering this some of us our ministry is behind the veil and because of that you may feel very left out there are many ladies you want to be in front there are many guys you want to be in front the greater honor is when you are hiding are you getting that now yes the greater honor your blood vessels hiding your blood itself hiding yet that's what carries every other thing to your body are we together but i can see the hand i can see the mouth so you would think the mouth is so important let the heart stop pumping 
and that's when you will see so there are some of you god is going to call you to ministries that are behind the veil you may be in koinonia you may be anywhere else and you find out that just because i'm a member of the worship team i'm not in ministry is them apostle you are wrong you are even the stronger part some of you are quietly in prayer band 12 o'clock every night you pray for me and you may never think it's a ministry stop praying for me and you will see the attacks on my life that's when you will know that you are more glorious than even me holding the mic have you learned something tonight let me tell you this it's a big secret i learned if you want to be relevant to a generation ah huh, let a majority of your life be hidden if all of you is seen by everybody you are not strong you are not powerful no all your revelation all your rema all your finance oh no a greater part of your life should be hidden look at god god hides in light no man sees him jesus came on earth just three years and he left but many of us are see me i want to be the, the no the happening people are usually the ones that are not even the strongest believe me the electricity that powers this you cannot see it but that is what is moving the fan you are only seeing the fan but there is the electricity some of you are like that so in finding your place let the devil not deceive some of you to just say kai i'm touched by this message i must go and pioneer a ministry or pioneer this and destroy yourself some of you may be in hiding that you are a pastor or that you are marrying a pastor doesn't mean you must be a preacher there is a difference between a pastor and a preacher there is a difference between a pastor's wife and a preacher that you can be a prophet or a prophetess it doesn't mean you are a preacher anna the prophetess was an intercessor 60 60 years or 64 years abraham was a prophet moses was a prophet father show me my place in your program open my eyes to see it open your mouth and pray show me my place pray show me my place in your prophetic blueprint in this season show me Show me, show me my place. Show me my listen to me we are going to pray and say father what sacrifice must i make for this grace to speak in my generation some of you the sacrifice is that you will not marry the person you want to marry some of you the sacrifice is you will have only one child that's the sacrifice some of you the sacrifice is you will have seven children you plan for two but god will say seven because the sixth child is the prophet and so god will say you can't stop some of you the sacrifice is night prayers must continue till jesus comes some of you the sacrifice is you must be rich you can't be poor the sacrifice is your wealth for some of you the sacrifice is the anointing you must stay till you find power you must stay till you find power you can't do ministry no 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 you must stay till you find power that's the sacrifice 
for some of you is utterance. You must stay till the spirit of revelation enters you. Lord, I'm willing to make the sacrifice. I receive grace. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I don't know what it will cost me, but oh God of heaven, I am ready. in life has to be to reveal the power of God no matter how people criticize you if you rob your generation of that dimension then God will never be glorified are we together hear me there are some of you the family you came from that you are not proud of oh my father is an iron bender my womb, my mother sells akara in the market no that spiritual G was a combination needed for your destiny. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You may not know that Akara seller that you are not proud of and that, that man that you think is just maybe an iron bender. I'm not proud of him. Something came from two of them that is necessary for your grace. That background, if you came out from any other background, Aside from that, you will never believe what I'm telling you now. So God took you. Some of you are from families that there is no father, no mother. There is a reason for everything. Listen, when you bring the prophetic dimension of life, everything suddenly makes sense. I see. I see why I'm the only boy in my family. I see why I'm the only lady. I see why God allowed all my siblings to grow. And then I later came as last born. If I was born in the same age range, they would never allow me to serve God. I now see the wisdom of God. That's why the Bible says my ways are higher than your ways. You may not know why it's happening. There are some of you, you would have graduated now. But you went and you saw an extra year. And God is saying, stay. God may not have been the one that caused it. But he can use it for his glory. If you, if you travel, you probably would have married somebody now and given birth to a man, not giving birth to that prophet. And it is in your staying. Remember, listen, it was so ordained that a woman would be the first to see Jesus at resurrection because women are gates. But the Bible says all the other disciples came and when they looked, they ran away out of fear. But a woman came. When she looked, she stayed there. It is her patience. She refused to go. As she stayed and stayed and stayed, suddenly she saw a man. You see that? The angels came. What is all this? There is power in waiting. Be careful. Breakthrough is not rush. Don't compare yourself with other people. You will be foolish. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but God is speaking to someone. Don't rush your life. Other people have cars. I must have car. Or, mm -mm, mm -mm. Be prophetic in your approach to life. There is destiny upon your inside. There is a reason why Joseph had to be a carpenter. To be the earthly father of Jesus. 
there is a reason why Mary had to be a virgin it's not an insult on other women who are not virgins but there was there was a reason there was a reason why it was not just Mary's womb anywhere Jesus was kept had to be virgin the donkey he would climb the tomb he would stay it was not about Mary it's a principle because he had to be first born among the begotten and the firstborn is the one who opens up things anything if anybody ever came out through the womb of Mary Jesus could not be the firstborn are we together this is my prayer all the time I don't live a foolish life I live a life that is prophetic I have found where it has been written when you find this no matter who persecutes you no matter what devil comes from where you just look and say you you are entitled to your opinion that is a derivative of foolish perception that is not kingdom but when you look at it here you will now see some of you will now see why you have been in zaria lord why am i here and god will not answer you just stay that's the answer lord let me also enjoy the common sense of living a useful life and God says just do what I'm telling you stay your staying too is an assignment sacrifice it takes sacrifice to do every one of these things that you see brothers and sisters but when you know that you owe a generation a dimension of God it constrains you some of you see a Jimmy here training people and helping people to be wealthy. There are people who can just look and say, ah, this guy likes money. It's a burden. It's ministry. There is a generation that needs it. You see why we're particular on all these are doctors? Because we don't just want people who give people injection and prescribe drugs. If that's all you do with your life, then you are not very useful to the earth. Because there are many of you already. But when you find your place in life there are people when we give back to we rejoice because of what happened listen let me advise people here if you are pregnant here or you have given birth stay with God to name your child don't get up this this these names we give children that are a product of carnality sometimes people are drinking beer and then somebody somewhere you don't need to call anybody in the village to say what is the name of my child they can suggest stay with God and find out what is the destiny of this child don't say I've always liked James what are you saying we have destroyed the lives of people some of you are carrying names today that frustrated your destinies like Jabez because it was not from the bowels of the spirit that those names were given Satan made sure that he changed your destiny by changing your name Are we together i may not advise you to go and change your name but let me tell you sincerely 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 names are spiritual names are spiritual saul in the new testament after the resurrection still his name was changed to paul why didn't they say former saul paul the apostle of the lamb names are so important the foundation of heaven is made with names 12 names make up the foundation of heaven not your house so your name can serve as a foundation of your life nonsense demonic names that have attracted trouble to people the bible says jabez jabez was angry the mother named him in sorrow the guy got up an innocent person trouble from the left and right I told you about a gentleman who the mom cursed him she gave him a name she may not call him a name but she told him that until rat stops stealing he will never stop stealing that's a name a name is not it's a system of identification give him a name that guy will come out of prison now just they will advise him he will sit down they will counsel him two weeks is back because a name if god helps that guy 
and he encounters a true apostolic and prophetic ministry and that embargo is lifted in his life it's not that's, that's how he will remain he will give birth to a child the child will carry the name when these things leave people they don't leave the earth they still wait for violators and come upon them the leprosy of naaman it left naaman but he was still there and gehazi made himself through greed as a scapegoat he came and said calm down please my master just made up his mind there's there's something can you give me i said oh, no 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 why not while he was giving the leprosy he was hearing go to this man and his generation and a prophet confirmed it look at how a stupid man enslaved his generation because of greed do you not know that the sacrifices that you make today is not just for you it's not just for your children listen to me it's not just for your children's children when god say young man for the next 20 years of your life make sure every night you are praying oh god what is it for when god is saying that he's looking at your 18 year old son and an encounter that we need to come to that child and he says continue to pray it it may not make sense but continue some of our parents prayed non-stop for 25 years for some of you to be here is that true they prayed every night no matter how tired you are sleeping you hear mama praying oh god use my children you are snoring away your destiny your mother prayed some of them they prayed till they died that's the prayer you hear god is changing your name to start an order our generation shall praise your name 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 Father, tonight you have dealt with us in such a dimension that we are grateful. Lord, I know you are building us. There is something you are doing in us. We may look ordinary, but there is not only destiny upon our lives, there is prophecy. Something was written in the Bible that addresses us directly. And Lord, we vow a vow as a generation that we will not fail you. We vow. We will arise and fulfill our destiny. We will arise and recover all that was lost. Let us arise in mighty victory. We will arise. Yes, we will arise. I will arise and fulfill the prophecy. I will arise. And recover all that was lost. I will arise in mighty victory. I will arise. Yes, I'll arise. I will arise. Yes, I'll arise. there are friends God is asking some of us to leave not because they are bad but because they are an interruption to prophecy you must let them go there are relationships God is asking some of us to leave not because they are bad but they are an interruption to prophecy Listen carefully, I'm rounding up. 
there are geographic locations God is speaking to for some of us not because he's bad but because it's an interruption to prophecy your priesthood demands that you make spiritual sacrifices listen to me some of you are crying I see people crying don't be afraid don't be ashamed of your tears it is costly to carry the glory it is costly to carry Shekinah I can tell you this firsthand I am a student in the school of sacrifice I know what sacrifice is your time your life your energy yes. you are never we are rounding up I want you to listen to me especially those of you outside anything valuable comes at a cost my brother my sister listen to me it will never be at a platter of gold no you will not carry a financial mantle at a platter of gold no you will not carry a true anointing for a generation not for a service not for a program not for a convention the mantle for a generation no. some of you it will cost you your nutrition and your dieting Will fast till you fast your life out but it's a sacrifice for some of you to cost you the cost will be loneliness because he's calling you to be a seer you will not be a public figure we keep you. Sacrifice. for some of you the call upon your life listen carefully the prophetic call is not something that you just sit down prophesy names and numbers there is a spiritual sacrifice let me tell you I say it with all humility this man you see standing has blood dripping from him from the left and the right this anointing you see doesn't just happen just because a man loves God don't just admire power until you see what is behind the veil are we together you don't just talk and people are falling down like that people are not idiots this is not going to listen to a man's message it's not just going to youtube or getting messages and listening and no 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 sacrifice many preachers will tell you listen we're rounding up many preachers will tell you it doesn't matter it matters it matters this is a realm and a dimension I'm walking in I can tell you how to get there take sacrifice your night will have to be turned to an altar if it's power you want you will need to learn when to turn the plate upside down even at your own sacrifice if your belly is your god you have you have you have prostituted away the opportunity for power hallelujah you will hardly see me moving around on this you think listen i'm a human being i have a life sometimes i want to stroll around too just like others and go and be happy sometimes i want to move around too and enjoy life like others but the call or the prophecy or the assignment it's not because i'm a public figure no sometimes i also want to go on vacation am i not a human being can't i honestly go on vacation and go and rest it's the sacrifice we're going to pray one last prayer but I'm opening our eyes. Some of us have just been admiring, anointing, and ministry. I'm opening your eyes to see. Brothers and sisters, it's a sacrifice. I want to marry a man of God. I want to marry a man of God. It's a sacrifice. It's not just mama or, or anointing or whatever. Night.
I surrender Sacrifice That's the language of kings in this kingdom Whatever you ask of me I surrender Turn it into a prayer And let's pray this song Whatever you want from me Whatever you ask of me I surrender My reputation, my life Everything us life you gave us destinies Lord tonight you have moved upon us seeking seeking to have more of us that we occupy that position of priesthood in the spirit and Lord there is a demand upon us in this season that we offer up spiritual sacrifices like an evening oblation we lift it up we cry we cry that not only the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart but our sacrifices will rise like an incense to the heavens that it will call for your mercy that it will call for your power that it will call for your presence build us oh god like living stones to become a spiritual house a spiritual house in experience grant us access to the light a portion for our generation the dimensions of you by the spirit that we ought to know that will be able to communicate spiritual realities in a higher dimension a dimension higher 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 than that of the saints of old the Bible says so that day without us we are the perfection of your church and so we cry as a bride longing for her husband even so come maranatha we call on the word we call on that light come come to us come revelation come portals of the spirit come vistas of heaven come let heaven be opened over us in unusual dimensions even in this season lord we truly want to be purposeful we want to walk not just in our destinies but upon the prophetic words revealed about us in scripture literally revealed about us show us oh god cause our eyes to see and that our hearts come into a point of understanding 
that we will walk in the path of destiny the first miracle you need to have is to give up on your ideologies and say lord i'm tired because your life is a reflection of your ideologies i don't care what the situation is i told us last week that your environment will eventually become a reflection of what your belief system and your ideology he said let this mind philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 let this mind the word let there is permit permit this mind please i know that you came from kaduna state and kaduna state there may be a way you thought about in your village i know that you came from from the east and there is a way that they thought i know that you come from the west i know that you come from katsina tonight will you choose to become a citizen of the kingdom by adopting the ideologies of the king subscribe to a new government every government has an economic system every government has a political system every government has a welfare system if you've been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more shall your heavenly father but that law is only operational for the sons of the kingdom hallelujah the word of god brings you into alignment listen when i begin to study the word of god or when she begins to study the word of god and she finds out that there is an ideology that she has that fights against the word of god you will be foolish to argue with the word of god the word of god predates our existence it has been tried through dispensations the word of god is a description of his character his operation with man and i told you that the efficacy of the word transcends genesis 1 is beyond that it predates genesis 1 i told you genesis 1 is not the first creation if we've settled that right job 38 those of you who are just coming this is koinonia get the series hallelujah that there, there is a lot of creation genesis 1 uh, isaiah 38 begins to give us how the foundation of the earth was created praise the lord the question i'm asking you is i know you want god to bless you but could it be that the devil that needs to go out today is not the one in your village is the one that has stayed in your mind like a stronghold the bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to what the pulling down of strongholds casting down every yazar imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ praise the lord so we have been given a poverty mentality as africa we have been taught that until you are 25 or 30 don't think about finances don't think about blessing don't think about empowerment and you are told that you are too young to carry the power of god or you are a lady you shouldn't carry the power of god these are the ideologies that cosmos markets to us but you must refuse it say i refuse shout it i refuse, I refuse. Mm. you must refuse it you must refuse it who told you you were naked who told you you were naked i honor the doctors but do you know that there are many people who have, who have several sicknesses but it never affects them because they do not have a medical report to validate it you went to check headache they said my brother this thing is more than headache you mean you would have died now we have a lot of doctors here doctors i love you praise the lord but now when you check and they tell you huh do you know that your liver is almost in fact you say you you mean it hi from that time your liver starts paining you physically right and then the doctor tells you you have two weeks to live all of a sudden somebody says there's an opportunity god is lifting us they let him lift you there i'm dying i believe the report of the lord I believe the report of God. See, listen. You don't see with your eyes. You see through your eyes. There is a spiritual agency for sight. You only see through these physical eyes. It's not what you see with. They are just the physical components that 
enable your true spiritual eye to see. And Paul prayed that that eyes be flooded with light. Praise the Lord. So we need alignment. That's why you can pray for people. Pray for them. Lay hands on them. Do whatever you want to do. Did you know that sometimes you finish praying and then the people walk right back because their mindset betrays what God wants to do in their lives. That's what happened to the nation of Israel. Right? Everything you have told Moses we will do oh, after two weeks. They say, Kai! A, a delegation comes and they say, Moses, we, we need an explanation. Go and bring Baal. Make something for us that we can see. This mysterious God who comes with smoke, we don't know this one. Please, make something we know. They limited God in the wilderness. A man's mindset can limit God as mighty as he is. I refuse to limit you. Number three, the word of God, an encounter with the word of God shows you your part of the deal. It shows you the part you have to play to commit God to a performance. Never forget this. There is a part that you have to play, brothers and sisters. Every promise in scripture requires a partnership on your own part. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. It says, If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day. Right? And then it talks about um, you being exalted above all the nations and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If there is a condition. Isaiah 119. If ye be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of your the land not if ye be hungry and desperate if ye be what willing and obedient there is a condition there is a condition there are always conditions so an encounter with the word reveals to me my part of God's prosperity package Lord you want to bless me what is my role right I want to step into levels of the anointing. The word of God shows me. is See, reading the word is like walking in your promised land. It says walk left and right. See everything as far as your eyes have seen. So, you read, studying the word of God is like touring your promised land. And you come back and say, Lord, as I read, I found this and that. And God says, alright, here's the condition. Everything is yours for it. You can enter a restaurant. Immediately you enter the restaurant, you see a lap of an ugly chicken and you start smiling. But you came there with 100 naira. There is a condition. You want to be a possessor. You want to make that thing become a present reality. There is a price tag. Nobody stops you. There's no policeman to stop you. But you can watch it like a museum and salivate and watch. Right? And nothing happens. You may be 30 years. But a little baby will come with his father and he say, Mommy, I like this. And whatever he likes, keep giving it to him. The container did not refuse to open. Your part. I know you are laughing because I spoke about food, but get the revelation because the issue in your life is more than food. Praise God. Oh God, change my story. God says, come let me show you your part of the deal. He said, God, I don't want you. Are, you have died for me. Mm -mm. Listen, listen, listen. Making the word of God work in your life, making that which he has done to work in your life will require a participation on your own part. Please understand this. Praise the Lord. Are we following? So these three things. Tonight, as you are seated here, there are some of us, the reason why certain levels of breakthrough have not come into our lives is because we have not been able to support our claims in prayer with a basis you have you have always every power challenging me you better leave because of what why should they leave do you know what brought them in the first place they were there before you were born so i came to koinonia every demon i'm tired of you <laughs> that's not what drives them you, you don't they don't go because you are tired 38 years that man was lying down at a pool that wicked spirit did not say, Kai, 
37, 38. Oh yeah, let me allow you. You have tried. You would have remained there forever. In five minutes. Five minutes. Meaning time does not change anything. Light is what changes things. It will change tomorrow. You are wasting your time. Arise and shine. Not because you are tired of sitting. Isaiah 64. Thy light is come. Are you getting blessed? So there are some of us here, what you need is to understand a revelation of what Jesus Christ has done. You think the reason why you may get everything is because you are bold or because you are prayed. It's not that. There is a revelation. The blood of Jesus. For years I heard Ren had Bonke talk about the blood of Jesus so much. He, he equated blood and fire. And I didn't, I couldn't quite get it until i found out that blood was a key in the spirit that's why every religion has blood as part of their component this is the one factor that every religion agrees upon blood hallelujah and there are some of us here the problem is our mindset god wants to bless us he wants to lift us but there is a mindset oh i'm a lady oh i'm coming from so so and so i cannot even speak english Oh, this and that and that and that. I've not even gotten admission. Or, oh, me, I just want a little this. Or, I made that and that. Huh? Or, God, I want you to bless me, but it must happen through NMPC. If you are Lord, it must happen through NMPC. They limited God. You are asking God for a cup and he wants to give you an ocean. Hallelujah. That's the problem with the body of Christ. Our faith is what I call auxiliary faith. Faith that is standing on something. Tied to the neck of your uncle. So every time you say, Lord bless me, what you mean is press that uncle's neck until he responds to me. Your faith is not really standing upon the word of God. Your faith, every time you say, Lord, I, 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 I know you are changing my story. What you are simply saying, oh Lord, I know my uncle will not sleep until my... No, no, no. Why don't you give him the option to bring the strategy? And you say, Lord, I don't care how it will be done. I may not see wind. I may not see rain. But one thing I know. Because let me tell you, your strategy is most of the time carnal. But his strategy becomes spiritual. When he gives you a strategy, it may look foolish. But that's the way he has chosen it. Right? Go around Jericho. That's the strategy. Oh, I'm already ahead of myself. The second way to receive a miracle, or the second platform now first is an encounter with the word of god second is the ministry of prayer the ministry of prayer is part of the equation to receiving a miracle there must be the ministry of prayer it does two things number one prayer challenges the forces of darkness fighting against the manifestation of the promise in your life ephesians 6 verse 12 the bible clearly tells us that we are not alone in this world we have strangers who are trying to escort us every day every time wicked spirits stratified in different cadres right so you are always not alone the devil attempts to seek entrance into different dimensions of your life and given the opportunity he will wreck your life the goal to mock the testimony of god in your life praise the lord so there are giants on every mountain please don't let anybody fool you there are giants on every mountain. If you get into a mountain and the door is already open, somebody already killed the giants, but there were giants there. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. The stratification of the demonic kingdom. So between you and your breakthrough, there are giants. It takes the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. When you pray, you authorize heaven to look into your situation. Because God is not committed to step into your situation without your asking him to. Genesis 1.26 From the day he said, let them have dominion. But God is supposed to know now, doesn't he love me? Well, it will not change. The bones kept staring at Ezekiel until something happened. Praise the Lord. You come for miracle service and you find out that as the word is coming like this, there are still people seated, oppressed of demons. Right? Some of these demons are hearing what I'm saying now. They are just shaking, but they are not going yet. Let's see if we will go. Must we really go? Yes. 
by the time we begin to pray we activate the energy the force right it's a force of compliance it brings everything to the obedience of Christ so that's why you need to pray you pray to command the forces of darkness that are stopping your access to bow number two this is an even greater reason why we pray prayer reveals the exact and the unique strategy to bring the promise to manifestation please never forget this when you pray in the place of prayer god reveals to you his unique strategy for you so you have walked through scripture and you have seen that god has told you that you are to walk in breakthrough but now the bible may not give you the nitty gritty of what to do in your unique situation prayer when you begin to pray the spirit of god begins to search the mind of god concerning your situation and the bible says how that he searches all things and he prays according to the will of god so you begin to pray and then the lord tells you okay now this is the strategy you are going to meet benga benga will introduce you to femi and femi will introduce you to prof that's how the miracle will come it is a strategy for only you somebody will do it and fail are you seeing why prayer is powerful this is this is am i blessing you in my opinion i think this is already a miracle for somebody i'm showing you the loopholes some of us have seen the promise you have agreed with god but the problem is the strategy in ancient times kings won war not on the strength of their army but the dexterity of their strategy 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 so joshua stood still and god began to give him the strategy he said joshua this is how we we'll throw this wall down walk around seven times did you ever see that repeated in the bible because it was a strategy right he told gideon take the people by the riverside and let them take water study the way they take water you will use it as a separation strategy somebody has come tonight to receive strategy lord how do i complete this house you calculated your salary based on your salary to take 10 years and god says i can show you a strategy the bible says then was the secret revealed unto daniel a wicked king slept in the night dreamt and forgot it and was going to punish people for his forgetfulness right and a man called daniel one of the greatest prayers that have been praying in this season is Lord's strategy. It is all about strategy. I'm telling you. God will show you something that does not make sense. But it's his strategy for you. Everyone will do it and fail. But it's what you will do. And you will walk on. Hallelujah. So you look at that business and you are praying. And God will say, uh-uh. My strategy for you is take that business out of where you are. Take it to another place. Isaac already knew he had the blessing upon him. But he needed a strategy. Right? That's why every time kings would fight, they would go and inquire. What is the strategy for this war? They will not use yesterday's strategy for today's war. They will fail woefully. And so they will go, should I pursue? And the Lord will say, this is how it will happen. Like in the days of Jehoshaphat. Put worshippers in front. Other times he said, walk around seven times. Other times he said, just be still. Get a stone and sit down and watch what I will do. Strategy. Question. The strategy you are using for your life now, who gave you? I saw another man do it, you see. He just went and started selling tomato. You see, it, it, God said he will bless you. But what drove you into it? I, I, a man must work. Don't stop those kind of demonic thinking. There must be a strategy oh lord change my story i think i'll start selling shoes just like that just like that the bible says as they began to pray the holy ghost said separate me paul and barnabas if they were to choose they would have carried somebody else right now when we begin to pray i am convinced that god will begin to reveal strategies for people strategies on how to make the rain work some of you listen students 
there are students here that all you need is one strategy there is a course everybody has told you this course and you are face to face with that Goliath you've been running away but right you are there now you need a strategy hallelujah there are some of you maybe your project a supervisor may be difficult and God can give you a strategy the strategy may not necessarily be a direct revelation from the spirit it can be light a one scripture imprints in your spirit as you are praying oh God what do I do about this my supervisor suddenly a scripture comes the gift of a man makes room you quickly go and package wine not to bribe the man you are responding to a strategy ordinarily he would have thrown you out with your wine but because you are doing it as a strategy you will laugh and say why did you have to do that what is even your name you have been disturbing me it's a strategy you will see men do foolish things that don't make sense that's what god told us when when we wanted to start giving access to our messages i went to the lord and the lord told me he said make sure you do not sell any message keep the videos give out the mp3s that's the strategy right you may do it for your ministry and you will lose a lot of money the blessing god has tied for your ministry you would but but it is a strategy it's a strategy when I said, Lord, what is the key to the publicity and the increase and the expansion of this ministry in terms of membership? God gave me a strategy. It's not a secret. Mark 1, 2, 3. You may apply it and it may not work for you. But that's what the Lord gave. And this is the mystery behind what you see. I'd like you, as you are seated, before we stand up to pray, in one minute speak to the Lord. What is the strategy? Lord, my family has been struggling over this issue for years. Every time they want to build, there is no money. What is the strategy? Please take what I'm saying seriously. One strategy can change your situation. Not just a strategy you read from a book. One strategy. There is an easier way of doing it. That you have not seen it does not mean it's not there. Why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. In 24 hours, by the strategy of the Spirit, He gave victory. Please pray. God has shown you your destiny helper, but He's not paying attention to you. One strategy will answer the question. Pray. God has shown you the business He wants you to do, but as it is, you try and try. You need strategy. It's not like you didn't hear God. The ministry of prayer. You have been reading and reading. You did well in 100 level. 200 level. By 300 level you started moving back. Because you need to change strategy. You need to go to his majesty. To show you. Strategy 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 please pray for your ministry sister you don't need all the money you think you need what you need is a strategy from the spirit believe me you have tried every idea you know you have tried everything they have told you why don't you cry before God come on now pray koinonia Reveal unto me the strategy. My family is suffering. There is witchcraft in my family. They have vowed. But my father will not listen. What is the strategy for the deliverance of my family? Everybody in my family is an unbeliever. But I've seen in visions and dreams that they will all be saved. Between the promise and the manifestation, what is the strategy? Lord, I've applied for job everywhere. Civil defense, immigration, everywhere. What is the strategy? Hallelujah. Strategy. The last thing I'll talk about when we stand up, we're going to do a quick walk. Very, very quick walk. 
the last step towards the manifestation of a miracle is that you must take action take action I want everybody to listen to me carefully because God is about to speak to us in a very definite way now I hope you have been blessed so far take action there are two enemies of action that are found from scripture number one fear fear everybody say fear fear is a dangerous and wicked spirit there are multi-millionaires sitting listening to me now but fear has stopped them from taking action there are many families you would have finished building your house since not just a bungalow that will kill you there are people seated here if you took the step god told you last year you would have been feeding your family this year fear tonight i'm showing you all the things that there is work to do tonight are you getting my point everybody shout i reject fear, I reject fear. oh fear does not respect age children fear adults fear great men fear macho men fear intelligent people fear right now africa is afraid nigeria is afraid many people are afraid the dollar is crashing everybody is afraid you don't know what to do right there's fear everywhere when the devil when god tells you get up and build the house this year that house must be built and all you have is hundred thousand and you calculate and you find out that the building will cost seven million and you're laughing you say god don't disgrace me let the people in the village not say i'm stupid take action listen the bible says this sign shall follow not go before you will never see the hand of god till you stand up and move this is somebody's this is a word from god to someone you have refused to move fear you wrote jam nine times you didn't get it god is saying this time you will get it say, i'm not ready i better go to the restaurant and eat food with that money see that fear are we getting blessed let's look at two scriptures second timothy 1 verse 7 take it high, please. second timothy 1 verse 7 please help us media let's really hurry up we have to hurry up because we have some prayer to do are you seeing the things that are limiting us truly i am determined this year to see that every one of us has a testimony if nothing changes in your life this year then it's your fault but as far as the principles that will guarantee for you to experience the rain by the grace of god i will do my best for god had not given us the spirit of fear put your name there just that first clause one to read one more time praise the lord there are many of our loved ones 45 years brother are you ready to get out of your father's house i preached a message in 2008 it was a classic come out of your father's house thought provoking message to challenge people to leave their comfort zone there are some of us 30 35 40 was still a big liability to our parents at home. Or God come out to say, what I have now is 20,000. Come out. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have sown seeds, you are giving. Look, let me tell you, if I am a father, my, when my child gets to a certain age, one day, he will just come and say, young man, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessing upon you. Go out. Out. That's it. I'm, I'm very serious. See, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone this year it's not just to say it's the year of the rain stand up and take action are you hearing what i'm saying change change what you have been doing kill fear take action and die doing it queen esther god took her to the palace god removed vashti and brought her for the salvation of israel but when mordecai spoke to her her man is plotting against these people you better go and meet the king she said ah please oh me too is 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 bring they brought me here please i'm not ready to face any embarrassment and mordecai said sit down there in fear paraphrasing sit down there when they finish with us the jews they will now say all of you in this palace bring your bio data and they will find out you are a jew too and they will kill you and she said if i perish i perish this is the year 
some of us are going to say if i am writing that jam again is god speaking to somebody i'm writing that jam again this is the year but i tried the business i feel you will do it again this year master we have cast he said we have cast the net of how do you put it now right we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i was going to get married the best even did introduction later he called and he said he's not doing it again and now one godly brother is saying i'm serious he said you look like that guy stand up and take action otherwise you sit down and not get married all your life in the name of jesus you will take action this year Praise the Lord. There are some of us, God is speaking. Fear. Fear. Do you know fear puts people in bondage? More people die. There are many sicknesses today that are as a result of fear and worry. Is that true? What you are afraid of has not happened, but you are, you are almost dying. From today now, people have started running out of Zaria. For instance. You can go if you want to go. What are of course, I'm not teaching you to be careless and just roam around. But, but oh, come on now. People fear everything. You are sleeping in the night. You just light. Maybe it's the cloth you hung that just tilted in a way. Say, I, I don't like the way this cloth is. Why is it tilting and coming back? Who is there? <laughs> fear. Fear has made people to say yes when they would have said no. And they committed themselves into things you have no business committing yourself. Fear. One of my friend's father. Listen, true story. One of my friend's father. They would have been the earliest people to start pure water business in Nigeria. When God gave him that idea, it was in a full gospel businessmen's fellowship. Right? The idea came and he laughed. Thai water. Haba. Who will pay for water? Are we idiots? There is stream. There is sun. There's light, there's stove to warm water. And he refused to take action. And certain people took action. Do you think those who took the action are, are crying now? This year, you must take a handkerchief as you are crying, be moving. Are you getting my point? You must challenge that devil. You have not broken through certain barriers. Nobody has ever crossed to the university in your family. Now you finish secondary school, for instance, and you're about to take that step, and, and everybody said, Just you have tried. You got diploma in, in, in software application. Are you not okay? You are ahead. Yet every time you sleep, you see a PhD, and the devil is telling you, you cannot move. Tonight we have come to call that devil a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I will take action. Say, I will take action. That's right. The second thing that stops action is laziness. Everybody say laziness. My goodness, our time is gone. Laziness. Very important. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 4, please. Proverbs 10 verse 4. And then later on, we would look at Proverbs 22 verse 13. Media, please don't forget. Proverbs 10 verse 4. There are some of us the demon that needs to fly out of our life today not jump out fly out and never return is that spirit of laziness that inertia to move forward some of us sheer laziness the bible says he become a poor that dealeth with what you never stay around me and you become lazy i have zero tolerance for lazy people a young man of 30 years by 11 30 12 he's still snoring on the bed you will beg for bread for sure there is no amount of fasting that will change that if you don't change it there are many lazy people we like a wolf free things look let me tell you there is a place for diligence if you must see the rain fall upon you this year are we getting blessed he become a poor that deals with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent does what there are some of you, you are experts at begging. Day and night, you beg everybody. Right? Please, bros, I beg. You get 5K, help me. Next time, sister, sorry, I'm just knowing you. Don't be embarrassed. I need 2K. 
you, you degrade yourself because of this devilish attitude of laziness. There are grasses in people's houses to go and weed. There are things to do. But you get up and believe you're a big boy. Big boy with nothing in your pocket. You calm down. Don't try to look successful. Pay the price and be successful. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? You must reject laziness. There are some students. You see how some students live. You think, you think that they are professors. Right? 10 or 11 exams is in one week and you see the person just strolling with his boxers go and fetch a, 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 a bucket of water lazily. He cannot even wait at the tap. He will turn somebody else's water, drag himself to the bathroom, come out 30 minutes later. Huh? Dirty boxers, dirty singlets, you can't wash it. Laziness all around. You can't get up and sweep your room. And some of our sisters are like that. Who do you want to marry? Tall, dark, and handsome. He must be a millionaire. You think God doesn't have sense? He said, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows. There are many people. See, look, let me tell you. Sometimes you may see me, you see some of the things we are doing, and you just don't be deceived by this, this ever water. If you want it, come and carry it. There is, it. there is more than this. Are you getting my point? First thing tomorrow morning, we are leaving for Katsina. It takes work. It's not just anointing. It takes diligence. Please, you need to talk to yourself and say, this year, the spirit of laziness, I curse you out of my life. Curse you out of my life. An assignment you can do now. You sit down and say, I will do it on Wednesday. You get zero. Right? Another assignment, you get zero. They just, they, they solve a the question in class. They say, just copy it and get 10 marks. They say, I will do it later on. Look, procrastination, you must attack it this year. Hallelujah. You are working in the office of your boss because you think you come for koinonia and the person you are working for is here. It's no guarantee to be lazy. I will fire you. I employ you. You are not doing what I employ. In the name of Jesus, I will fire you. And you will come back and you will hear me preach. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is truly no food for a lazy man. Let me tell you the truth. You must get up. And, and be serious about your destiny and work. There are some of us this year. You have no business with relationship. If you are passing and you see any beautiful lady. Just say blood of Jesus and pass. Because this year is a year to you. Your own reign is coming to give you grace to stand up. No responsible parent will give a daughter to somebody who doesn't know where he's going. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Very important. But I believe that as we contend tonight in this miracle service, it's going to be a very fast walk. For me, I think this, this is it happening to you. If, if we close right now, I believe that you would have left with something. Many of us here belong to this category, this laziness category, right? Because social media, Facebook, Twitter, has and, and, and BBM has massaged our life of laziness. Something you can get up and do. You see a lot of people just to walk from one place to the other. You are taking a bike. Huh? Laziness. It's not like you are in a hurry for anything. You just load your phone and sit down in the afternoon. You are not working. You are not doing anything. You are a liability to everybody around you. And you are just, you are, you are sending Yarrow boys as a student, for instance, to go and buy you Mr. Biggs. Four, five thousand. They bring everything. You lie down with phone that you forced out of your father or mother. And you are making calls in the daytime. Even a worker is not doing that. You ping your life out. and The person you are pinging is in the office making money. You are there struggling. The day you call him, he stops responding to you. Please don't be a liability to anybody this year. Whoever has been ignoring you is because you are becoming a pest. Rise up and begin to be hardworking and you will become friends again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Especially for the brothers. Brothers, say amen. amen. Let me talk to you for one minute before we start praying. This year, please, please, something must change. There are some people 
sir five years six years no job not because they they have never taken their cv anywhere um, but my uncle said it now that uncle said it's wicked you came to stay in your friend's house when you stayed in his house he was a student he graduated served and is working you are still staying in his house he has gotten a job you are still staying in his house whoever that friend is drive that person out after miracle service tell him in the name of jesus christ i appreciate you three years is enough time for you to sit down get koinonia messages 2012 13 14 it will liberate you please out of my house sometimes you need to push some people into their breakthrough over pampering destroys hallelujah over pampering destroys there are times you need to get up and challenge yourself they send you money in two weeks you already calling again laziness you won't do anything you hear that there is scholarship free there are many graduates many graduates you win is out they won't apply i think it finished today they won't do anything you said god told you you'll be an entrepreneur huh? and you are not doing anything you've never gotten up to go for any seminar to build yourself you see a seminar you reject it you are not watching anything on youtube you are not going to sit and learn under people you are just sitting down bragging around with nonsense that's what a lot of young people are doing around huh? god blesses you with fifty thousand that can start something that can bless you you use it and buy a suit to prove a point to the people who are busy building their destinies they are not even seeing the point you must change this year in the name of jesus christ fear and laziness we are going to pray three serious prayer points the moment we pray these three prayer points the night will start with the sick people we we'll start ministering to the sick people as soon as we pray the three prayer points please begin to write your prayer requests while we minister those outside can you shout hallelujah one more time shout hallelujah the lord will visit you in a mighty way in jesus name praise the lord rise up on your feet and let's pray success is not automatic there are laws there are laws this is our year of the rain god has spoken to us shown us the loopholes lift your hands and begin to thank god for this word tonight he that he loves he chastises bless his name bless his name lift your hands inside and outside bless the name of the lord thank you father for this word it has come to clean me up it has come to purify me it has come to challenge me hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord prayer point number one say after me in the name of jesus please say it like you believe it in the name of jesus i receive grace to align my mindset to that of the word of god every thinking pattern every thought process that is not of god i challenge you in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray father give me the mindset of victory i'm tired of carrying ideologies some of us have ideologies about church we have ideologies about praying in tongues ideologies about the holy spirit ideologies about prosperity ideologies about miracles ideologies about responsibility about marriage that are antagonistic to the ways of god the first miracle tonight is to pray i submit my mentality i submit my thought pattern please pray pray from your heart i refuse to be limited there is still a place for champions in life there is still a place for the great 
but you can never rise above your thought pattern you can never rise above your ideology you may have held on to it for years it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to re-examine your mindset let this mind be in me that was in Christ Jesus the mindset of victory I don't see defeat in my life I don't see defeat with God I am unlimited with God I am unbeatable with God I am a champion ay, 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 ay. pray rejoice not over me my enemies for though I fall yet I will rise again hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two you are going to challenge that spirit of laziness are you getting my point fear and laziness let's combine it together say after me in the name of Jesus I challenge every spirit of fear for God has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore I declare that fear is banished from my life I refuse to fear and I challenge laziness from today I receive the grace to be diligent no more laziness it's time to take action lift your voice and begin to pray time to take action 2015 time to take financial steps 2015 time to take spiritual steps 2015 time to take intellectual steps Go ahead and pray. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cause the spirit of fear, fear of death, fear of past failure, every intimidation. Inside and outside, pray. Pray. I cause the spirit of fear. I cause the spirit of fear. I'm a champion. I can make it. I can break barriers. I can break barriers. I am well able. I am not weak. I am strong in the strength of the Lord. And I cause laziness. I cause laziness. Laziness to study the word. Spiritual laziness. Mental laziness. Physical laziness. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. As we pray this prayer point, my goodness, I already sense the power of God in a mighty way. That's right. As we pray this very prayer point, the healing power of God will begin to move hallelujah I'm going to request those who are sick those who came specifically for healing you will find your way as hold on let's pray first before you come I'd like you to come believing that you will part with that sickness forever hallelujah the last prayer point say in the name of Jesus oh God reveal to me the strategy for possessing my blessing reveal to me the strategy 
in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Lord, I cry. What is the strategy? What is the strategy? Come on, pray, Koinonia. I cry unto the spirit of wisdom. Show me the strategy for my prosperity. Show me the strategy for my blessing. Show me the strategy for my lifting. Show me the strategy to get the attention of my destiny helpers. Show me the strategy for the church growth. Show me the strategy for the expansion of my business. Show me the strategy for five points. Show me strategy for first class. Show me the strategy to pass the jump. Show me the strategy. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Pray. Show me the strategy. Oh, yes. The strategy is revealed in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Make sure you are praying tonight. Show me the strategy to open me up to the next level of destiny. Show me the strategy. I'm tired of making mistakes. I'm tired of moving in circles. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I'm tired of marking time. It's time to break forth. Hallelujah. Begin to pray now and say, God, visit me. We are going to do, the Holy Ghost will do a very quick walk. Very quick walk. Hallelujah. Those who are sick, I'd like you to come up and line up here. Very quickly. If you came here for the miracle service for healing, please come and line up. Ushers, help them, coordinate them. Let's have it very quickly. While that is happening, make sure you write your request. There is a mystery of answered prayer in this house. Make sure, please. If you have not written your prayer request, start writing it. I don't care what the situation is. I like you to write it and let's drop it before God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh mighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You those of you in front, I know you came here because of the testimonies you have had. I want you to know that your situation will not be different. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want you to believe in the power of God. There are certain conditions. Listen to me. There are conditions in this place that are entirely demonic. Hallelujah. It's going to be a fast one. I don't know if we'll have time to take testimonies or not. But because there, I, I really, I really, really need to rush with time and let's do a lot please if we end late today i apologize in advance we'll do our best to kill time but please wait because god has something to do in your life hallelujah praise the lord father we give you praise it's called a miracle service we thank you for the anointing of the spirit in the name of jesus everybody make sure you participate now if there if you have loved ones 
who are sick you can connect you can tell them to connect praise the lord you don't need to come out for them but you can call them or do whatever and tell them look connect to what god is doing hallelujah we bless the name of the lord worship team help us praise the lord father we give you all the praise and we trust you to glorify the name of your son right now in jesus name go ahead please who brought this lady who brought this lady who came with her please if you brought somebody let's know please we are not faking it here what's what's wrong with her legs who brought her my dear look at me what's wrong with your leg huh? you what my leg is swollen. Your leg is swollen. I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing a charm. Look at me. What What did you say? You sat in what? I woke up. So you woke up and you saw your leg. leg. It's not a wound. This is a charm. In the name of Jesus, I break it. I curse it. Look at me. You've not been able to walk. I can walk for long. Okay, look at I me. I keep coming out. Look at me. It's coming out with pause. I curse it. Look at me. Just look at me. Keep your legs. Just look at me. Don't look at your legs. Look at me. Look at me. Not, don't look at the legs. In the name of Jesus. Walk. Come. Come. Just come. Don't look at me. Look at me. Come. Walk. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Look at what is happening. See, she's even surprised. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Can you climb up here? Climb by yourself. It's witchcraft. Don't be afraid. Help her if she needs any help. Okay, come. Move your legs. Just do what I'm doing. Move your legs. Move your legs. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that power of witchcraft right now. I release that. Come on now, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. God is healing people in this place. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone that has orchestrated anything for you to fall into in the name of Jesus Christ this night I command those powers to be broken in the name of Jesus my dear it never returns to you again and this veil that I see over you in the spirit I command that veil to go now in the name of Jesus Christ give God praise help us worship him please let's hurry Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. I'd like to know what, what really happened to him. Tell, you are the one who brought him. No, no, no. Talk, talk on his behalf. Let's save time, please. Said I have been sick since 1980, 1998. 1998. Yes. Is he hearing what I'm saying? He's hearing. Okay. Again. Bless you, Daddy. Thank you. Since 1998, what's yes. the sickness? Liver. Liver problem. Liver problem, sir. Sir. What What are the symptoms? What happens to him? Thank you, sir. My belly was swelling. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pray for you right now when i pray for you that swelling will go down now now and you'll be able to walk in the name of jesus christ i curse that spirit you are a spirit answer to the name of jesus right now i command the swollen stomach to go down right now you see what is happening to you in the name of jesus the heat sensation you're feeling is the power of god thank you jesus heal right now sir please come because the devil wants to use this and put stroke on you um would you mind if, if i ask you to jump will you jump okay just just try go ahead go ahead just go ahead Go ahead. Just lift it as high as you can. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Go ahead, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's try. Just jump a little. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go. Ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In the 
the name of Jesus Christ. Now walk, sir. Come. Just walk as fast as you can. As fast as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. You are healed completely. In the name awesome. of Jesus Christ. As I stepped here, I saw this woman tied from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. Head to toe. And I'm seeing blood all over you. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. What's wrong with her? Um, suddenly, she just grows lean like this. Mommy, There's look no at me. Ache. You will not die. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Just hold it. Look at me. Just look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Now I cost this power. Kalabata Kotobaya. Let mama go now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I cost that spirit. Let her go now. I lose you. What couldn't she do? Like Parkinson's disease. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. 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 Clam by yourself. Come. 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 Follow me. Just follow me, Mama. Look at this. Come on now, Koinonia. Give God praise. Can you lift your hands? See, she's laughing. Try to lift your hands, Mama. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Is it which of the hands can she lift? Okay, go ahead. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bring it down. Lift your hands. Come on, Koinonia. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift your legs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. Mama is released right now. Koinonia, give God praise. Let's celebrate what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that power. Come, I need to pray for you too. Your mother, right? I pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm seeing this thing. If I don't pray for you, it will affect you too. Right now, I curse. Lord, he's a worker in this house. Therefore, I curse that spirit. You are a sister. Lift your hands. If I don't pray for you, you have problem with marriage. You are young now, but we need to pray. This thing is the whole family thing. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from this act of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation returns to this family. Go ahead and massage her legs. Hallelujah. Please, we are going to really, really be fast. As soon as we pray for you, just give room. Usher, start collecting the prayer request. If you have somebody's picture as I come, I may not be able to talk again. And so we'll just lay our hands. Believe God. Believe God that the situation will change in Jesus' name. My God is
an iron in your leg oh that's what stops you from moving but can you stretch it in the name of Jesus father careful although there is an iron in your leg in the name of Jesus may there be a miracle I command this shorter leg to grow out now by the Spirit of God madam look at me do you want to try walking uh -uh. I'm not asking you what you, have. you came here because you believe God can help you is that true you believe that okay as careful as you can move your legs you're you are related to her come who are you you are sister madam all right don't cry don't cry please come madam do you feel pain you feel pain because of the iron it's difficult now for us to but after i pray for you can you talk to the doctors to look at your legs and look at the iron they'll be coming on wednesday okay fine father in the name of jesus we agree that as they come on wednesday and check this leg they will remove this iron and she will walk normally look at look at this look at what the power of god is doing in the name of jesus christ i cause that spirit let there be a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ let her have a seat please quickly let's let's save time worship team help us let's not have they will remove the iron madam and you will walk normally in the name of jesus christ i need to pray for you yes i need to pray for you madam because as i'm looking at you i'm seeing pains i'm seeing pains um, like abdominal pains and the lord is asking me to minister to you can i pray for you hold my hands jesus do a miracle right now i cause that pain by the power of the holy spirit Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please just line them forward. Let them just come forward in the name of Jesus. I don't need to ask you what the situation is. I really want you to believe that. Praise the Lord. I, I don't want you to think that maybe if I don't ask you, it means I don't give value to you. No. It's not even me doing the miracle. Right? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Hallelujah. Please rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. We're going to cause every wicked power. Please listen. Hallelujah. Look at me. I told us that one of the benefits and the blessings of prayer is the ability to cause limiting powers. It's called a miracle service. And this is January. Hallelujah. We believe in the full gospel and everything Jesus died to give. Listen, every power that has tied anyone's destiny down, it's time for it to go. Are you listening to me? Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Go ahead and pray and say, Father, every spirit that is not of God looming around my life and my family, please make sure you are praying that as the word of God comes now, there will be mighty, mighty deliverance. Lord, let there be deliverances. Break limitations over people's lives. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 The reason why the reason why we do deliverance is not is not working against the fact that Jesus says we are this and that and that it is on the strength of that the Bible says although he has put all things under his feet he said we do not yet know I hear a lot of people criticize the ministry of deliverance and all of that um, while I know that there are exaggerations here and there, let me tell you something. The people of God must be subjected to the full weight of all that God's power and anointing can do. Are you following me now? There are people who have struggled here. You love God, but doors will just not open. Let me tell you, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I'm going to minister to people right now. I see an angel of the Lord moving. And a lady is going to shout. I don't know why God does these things. 
under the anointing when that happens it's a sign that the spirit of god is ready to move and deliver people lift your hands hear me brothers and sisters it takes the power of god to subdue principalities and there are some of you right now both for you and your family there are forces that will not let you go but this night and right now my goodness there is the fire of the spirit at the count of three it's not just a recitation you're going to shout that name the name that paid access for your liberty bring up bring them out my goodness deliverance is already happening inside and outside there will be mighty angels there is the sword of the spirit lord let there be deliverance every family every destiny tied under any yoke of bondage i invoke it in the spirit that at the count of three those devils are under fire one two three come out now i command powers be gone now i cause principalities i cause spirits i cause powers inside outside the angel of the lord is moving i command witchcraft bring them out spirits of ancestry in the name of jesus the powers that have tied down man's destinies the forces that have refused to let you go right now i come with an apostolic anointing and in the name that is above all names let fire fall from heaven over your life over your academics over your marriage through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves lift your hands was he shouting one more time please bring them listen for some of you what will happen right now is not just for you alone but for your family just keep them down there hallelujah malakata and i see this affecting many ladies because i see marriage is being tied makoto tobakata sheketelekaya as you shout that name jesus you may not even know that that thing is in your family but all of a sudden physical fire physical fire will begin to burn right now on the count of three i challenge those powers one two three go 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 i cause that spirit delay delay i cause that spirit inside and outside i command that devil of delay to go now i command that power tying your destiny i command that power tying your breakthrough i command that power tying your family the price has been paid by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i release marriages i release miracles i command breakthrough fire is burning i command breakthrough i set those altars on fire i set those covens on fire hallelujah lift your hands where are those who have been oppressed academically lord where are they there are people who would have moved forward 
as I speak right now, fire is coming on people. Fire is coming. Release the academics now. Release the academics now. Release the academics now. 2015, the year of the rain. Release the academics now. I command those powers. I challenge them. They must leave now. There is a family the Lord is showing me. You have been under stagnation for 10 years. 10 solid years. But as I prophesy right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names, I pray and I prophesy. The Lord is showing me men whose hands have been tied. And, and see, when your hands are tied, it means the capacity for favor and the capacity to move forward is not there. Lift your hands. Some of you will feel physical fire, physical fire on your hands. There are chains burning. Lord, where are they? Let the sword of favor break them free from every oppression. Right now as I speak, anyone whose hands are tied in the spirit, I command those hands to be loose now. I command those hands to be loose now. The fire is falling, falling, falling inside and outside. Falling, I break the chain. My goodness, there are angels outside. The fire is falling. Chains of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one minute, lift up the exact situation you want God to change. Begin to talk to Him. Go ahead before prophecy comes. Please don't keep quiet. No matter how impossible it is, there is an anointing. Inside and outside, make sure you are talking to the Lord. This and that and that are my requests. Do a miracle. Some of you need a 24-hour miracle. Now, all those here in front, in the name of Jesus, and by the fire of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three, not only will those devils leave, they must release your family members. I speak to every spirit. You know my voice. I represent the embassy of heaven. And in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will leave now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Go. Go. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this request. Your requests are there. Please, in case you've not dropped yours, locate it quickly to the ushers. It's not a ritual. There is a mystery of answered prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says how that Ezekiah took the request before God. The threats may be joblessness. It may be impossible situations. As I kneel upon this request and we pray together, just for one or two minutes see i assure you i assure you you will return with a testimony 
except you refuse to come and testify stretch your hands and begin to pray thank you jesus Remember last week we thought that words activate spiritual laws. Hallelujah. I want you to receive. For some of you, there will be an instant performance in the name of Jesus. I want to start by praying for families. Every family that has been in a state of stagnation, please lift your hands inside and outside. I'm prophesying now. Every family represented in this place in the name of jesus christ in this year of the rain i command that between now and next month's miracle service let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs By the agency of the spirit we activate every law that needs to be in motion in the name of jesus the laws of favor the laws of destiny help us in the name of jesus i pray anyone here who has been under any academic bondage from secondary school to master's phd right now in this year of the rain i command speed for you i declare move forward now move forward now make progress now move forward now in the name of jesus i pray for anything that has died in your hands business the works of your hands relationships in the name that is above all names let resurrection happen in your life now please believe what i'm saying believe what i'm saying god is changing people's situations this is how god changes situations by the power of his prophetic word i say it again whatever has died I speak to that which was dead. Come back to life now. I command every blood condition, whoever is standing here and you are SS, right now, we change that genotype to AA. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I cause hepatitis be crushed to the root in the name of Jesus. We cause HIV. You leave God's people in the name of Jesus. Everyone here who has been oppressed by spirits, you sleep in the night and they oppress you. Reketeke poto shupatala makata. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring deliverance to you now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit bring deliverance to you now. There are people here, it works for others until it gets to your turn, then it fails right now in the name of Jesus. I command that the last time that tragedy happened in your life the power of God is moving on this world moving strong on this world the last time it happened the mystery behind that tragedy I cause it in the name of Jesus I declare that in this January between now and next month's miracle service what you could not do in the whole of 2014 may my god empower your hand to do it in the name of jesus christ i pray for every dying cgpa here hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus i command it to come alive There are people here students your true status is first class but something has tied you down your true status is four points but something has tied whatever that something is i lift it off your life now in this year 2015 go back to your departments and break barriers in the name of jesus I pray for every business here whatever has stopped it from working in the name of Jesus we command it to come alive now whoever needs to come into your life between now and next miracle service and open a door for you I call them forth now I call them forth now I declare whoever is jobless and looking for a job here or your family members in the name that is above all names where they said there are no jobs we create jobs now believe it believe it we create jobs now in the name of jesus christ whoever has been assigned by my father to favor you and has refused to respond to you in the name of jesus may the lord compel them to respond in the name of jesus i pray for your spiritual life whatever has robbed you of an effective prayer life every worry everything that has robbed you i command fresh impartation of prayer grace receive it now fresh impartation of prayer fire whatever makes you study the bible and you don't understand may the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now and i pray for you every habit in your life masturbation pornography and any other thing that is not of god that has robbed you of your christian integrity you love God but you find things pushing you that embarrass you right now I agree with you be delivered now I agree with you be delivered now hallelujah whoever is being eyed for death in this place that the devil has vowed that you will not see February miracle service I'm praying by the mystery of the blood i open that door of gate of, of death and i command in the name of jesus that your soul is ransomed from the gates of death 
in the forthcoming election you are preserved in the name of jesus whoever comes to destroy you will die before he gets to you in the name of jesus as you travel on the road you are preserved you cannot be a victim of accident in the name of jesus i establish the covenant of peace upon your life you are protected by the angels of heaven i declare right now that in 2015 living from hand to mouth that spirit of begging living from hand to mouth by the mystery of divine supply i bail you out of that wicked situation in the name of jesus i pray for you whatever you wrote here as a request right now i agree with you that it is turned into a testimony i say it one more time whatever you wrote here as a request i agree with you we turn it into a testimony by the power that turned the rod of moses into a serpent and back into a rod i turn what was here as a tell as a prayer request by the power of the holy ghost let it become a testimony in your hands in the name of jesus every factor that must be in place for you to stand here and testify i release it in the name of jesus i pray we pray for our lecturers every lecturer that has been victimized and any lecturer that the devil is eyeing to bury this year in the name of jesus by the mystery of the blood they are preserved i'm speaking any position that belongs to any god-fearing lecturer that is being truncated by powers of darkness we stand as the parliament of heaven in this city and we enforce compliance in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you if there is one thing that should happen in your life let it be indescribable favor 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 i prophesy it from the depths of my heart if you have never seen favor happen in your life you will see favor that will make you cry financial favor marital favor academic favor spiritual favor receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord thank you jesus hallelujah now you're here you've never given your heart to the lord jesus you've never made him lord of your life we're out of time please keep standing everybody let's honor these people you are here and you have never given your life to christ remember we said the basis for your victory is what jesus christ has done wherever you are or you have once given your life to christ but for some reason you found your life going haywire and you need to make your ways right don't say time is gone please wherever you are inside or outside you might be a new student you've been a christian all your life or you may be new in this town i pray right now that you respond to the call of god wherever you are you are returning to jesus or you are making decisions for the first time please make your way to the front be bold about it be bold about it i know god is talking to somebody don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person find your way to the front god bless you god bless you please make sure you celebrate them as they come celebrate them god bless you those outside no matter how far you are make your way to the front jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father if you deny me before men young and old make your way you are not too far don't let the devil say you are far make your way run to the front run to the front forget about your neighbor or who you came with it's a personal affair tonight hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands as i leave you to pray say after me jesus i believe in you i believe you died for me tonight i repent of my sins 
I obtain forgiveness and cleansing. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that I'm a changed person. The power of sin is broken over my life. And I'll never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you. You brought these ones to your throne. May their decisions be genuine. Preserve them by the power of the Holy Spirit. They will never be the same. I break the power of sin over your life. You have eternal life into your spirit. And I declare that you are of the family of faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now I'd like you to follow the ushers. Follow the gentlemen waving their hands. All of you this way. They'll give you a few informations and you'll be back to your seat. God bless you, brother. Join them and they will lead you into that place. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.